It is now 8.23 p.m. on Friday. And what? I got 121 miles to one. Last night I drove from half a tank to about here. So I used about an eighth of a tank last night to make about 90 bucks. And so that means a quarter of a tank would have made me about 180, which is on par for what I should be doing. I just need to make more money. But I'm about to gas up right now for the weekend. Cause like I said, it's Friday night. I'm not using a whole tank this weekend. I'll probably use a little more than a half a tank this weekend. But I got to get out here and make this money, man. All right, that's where I'm at right now. Almost 11 gallons. Let's go see how much gas I got till empty. Woo! Oh, what is he? 361. I don't know why it's so low. I kind of topped off a little bit. I guess I got to move the car. So I'm going to cruise right here and park real quick just to sit here. They got a big old limo right there. They got the uh, concert going on downtown right now. It should be, it's only 8.30, so it should be letting out in a couple of hours. I'm going to chill right here for a second. Let me go through the apps and see what kind of information we got going on. Hoping for a good weekend. That's all we can do is hope for a good weekend. Because, man, we need it. I need, like I said, I've been off for like eight days. I kind of drove a little bit over the past couple of days to test the car out. But now it's time to really hit it. Let's hit it. Let's get this money. Stay smart. Don't take no shit rides. You know, hopefully I can make enough profits to cover all the shit I just lost over <laughs> I'm like, man, let's see. All right, there's nothing popping up on Uber right now. Uber's dead. No opportunities. I had an appointment, a reservation tonight. I canceled it because it was actually from the concert. It was $16 to go nine miles from the concert. So I'm not going to do that. This is the concert right here. So I'm not going to do that because I don't want, because I'd rather get Surge. I don't want to sit up there and do a $16 ride for nine miles when I know Surge is going to be jumping down here. So I end up canceling that reservation. And here we go here. Let's go on Lyft. Like I said, usually when I go on one, the other one will pop up something real quick. Like, hey, hey, drive for us, man. Don't drive for those raggedy bastards. Like, yeah. Let me see what I got in here. Same old same. $10.10. That's all I've made so far driving over here. And I've been scouting for what? Almost two hours, 16 minutes driving. That's about as all I can make with them. But like I said, I ain't got nothing out there right now. Let me go back over to Lyft. I mean, Uber. Man, it ain't no surge out here. Is it surge on this side of town? Where's all the surge at? Man, I ain't got nothing. Let me go back on UberX instead of Uber Pet. All right. See if they throw me some surge out there somewhere. Hopefully they give me some good rides right off the bat. At least, you know, two, three dollars a mile right off the bat to get the night going. Yeah, don't give me no 50 cent a mile nature hike from downtown all the way to North Scottsdale. Like, I'm not doing that, no. Because this is where the money's going to be at tonight. So hopefully I do a whole bunch of short rides. Big black SUV just pulled into the parking lot right now. He's about to gas that big motherfucker up. Yep, he pulled right into the pump. Shit, go ahead and dump that 115 in there. <laughs> it's like them big ass SUVs. Man, that shit's gorgeous, though. That's a beautiful ass truck right there. That is nice. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Cause I'm gonna be like, what are you talking about, man? Hold on, let me see. See if I can show you this. That right there. That thing is gorgeous. Look at that. That is a nice SUV. That's something right there I would drive. That is nice. That thing is clean as hell. Man. I know my Escalade is about, I don't got the ESV. I got the regular Escalade. So it stops right at the back wheel. That right there is crazy. That thing is a gorgeous truck right there. That's how you make money right there. That right there, shit, easily 200 an hour. Easily 200 an hour. Shit, you work 50 hours over a week, man. Money, money. Oh, here's another one. Hold up. All of, let me show y'all this shit. They all coming in now. I'm in the right. Look at this shit. They all pulling in now. And that's another nice one. Same one. Same one. Woo, man, them things are beautiful. I need to get my money up, man. I swear to God, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my like TCP license. I need to, because I could drive that big ass thing. I'd be taking people to Vegas and that shit. I'm like, y'all wanna go to Vegas tonight? Let's go. <laughs> but let's see what we got. What we got. So far, nada. Not a fucking thing. That's my Spanish. N-A-D-A. -A. Nada. Nada fucking thing on these apps. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. Yeah, but it's only 840, so it's not going to be nobody out for a while. All right, let's turn this shit off then. Because they ain't sending out nothing right now.
offline with those and let's go offline with them i'm about to go kick back somewhere and listen to me some music a real quick three dollar trip it was like i said i was sitting at circle k and the dude was right across the street from me at the dispensary so that's why it's not even a mile it wasn't because i just i went you can see on the map i went right across the street picked him up brought him to the hotel down here but it was cool because he was a guy from like Pakistan or India or something like that. And we were talking BMWs. He's got an X7, the big SUV. So I was like, oh, man, that's crazy. So I just ordered me a new charge pipe for this car. And he was like, what? I was like, yeah, because when I did all the work to the uh, intake and everything recently, the how I uh, did all my intake work, I took the charge pipe apart and I didn't realize it. But when I put it back together, it's, it's so secure right now. Like I keep saying, my car seems like it's a whole lot faster. I think I did something different to where it, the, the boost is like building up too much. It's not coming out of the wastegate. So it's building up a ton of boost. And the guy was like, well, sometimes when you adjust that charge pipe, you move that charge pipe around, you get it to where it's either off or it's on. Like you could be having a leak in your charge pipe right now. So he's like, just order a, a custom charge pipe and just redo it all over again. So I ordered a custom charge pipe. It's like 170 bucks. I'll put it all back on. Damn, look at these garbage trips. $20 to go 30 miles away. I'm here waiting on the surge to pop. I'm not doing these old garbage ass trips. 30 miles for $19. Nah, I'm cool. Yeah, so I just ordered a charge pipe uh, yesterday when I got home from driving. And I'm going to put that on. I'm going to take the, uh, the stock pipe off and put the aftermarket charge pipe on just so I can get my boost working right. Because I'm like, dude, something's wrong, man. My car's like taking off like a rocket right now. He was like, you probably got a leak somewhere in your system. So he said, when you mess with that original charge pipe, he said, so take that off and put a, a, a stock one, I mean, an aftermarket one on. So I'm like, dude, this car is like, it feels like I barely hit the gas. It wants to just shoot out from up under me. He was like, yeah, when you move that charge pipe around, you probably didn't reconnect it right. <laughs> he said, you probably got a leak somewhere and it's like air just being sucked in and you're just throwing a ton of air into the intake now because your charge pipe is not completely lined up somewhere. So you're getting a whole bunch of unmetered air into your system and it's, it's like mixing. As soon as you open that throttle body, it's sucking in air from everywhere. The, the turbo is going, the air is going, and it's shooting the car from up under me like a rocket ship. I'm like, it's way faster now. He's like, yeah, you probably left the air gap somewhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this, uh, the stock charge pipe off and put an aftermarket one on. That happens. I love how fast it is. I'm like, man, this thing is fast as shit. What the hell did I do to my car? I thought it was because I cleaned the intakes real well. Probably got a little bit to do with it. But he was like, nah, you got like unmetered air coming in somewhere. And it's getting into your uh, intake. And it's just like that that turbo is sucking. It's pushing. And it's throwing you, man. It's like this car is like, it, it feels like I'm driving a V6 right now. Like I barely hit it. This thing is shooting out. I'm like, yeah, it shouldn't be doing that. It, it's a four cylinder. It shouldn't be going that fast. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. And that's why I don't like using luxury cars for cheap rides. Because now Lyft is trying to send me nothing. They sent me two in a row. One was 262 That one was a little bit more. Both of them weren't. See, this is what they're starting to do. Send a bunch of cheap rides. Nine miles for $9. And I'm down here where the event is. They pulled it away quick as shit. It was like, oh, he ain't taking that one. Yeah, you're right. I'm not. Because, like, I'm down where the event's going to be. So, I don't mind doing the short rides here and there. You know, $3 for less than a mile, not bad, not bad. But now they're starting to get like a little brave on my ass. They're starting to send me like a little more than, you know, two, three miles for $3. It's starting to be like a dollar a mile now. They went from $3 a mile down to a dollar a mile. So I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. You can send me a bunch of rides that are $3 a mile. You know, one mile, $3, I'll do it all night. I'll do it all night. But now you're starting to get brave and send my ass these whack rides. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that. Now you got Uber trying to do something crazy. Look at that. $7.94 for like 10 miles going all the way back to Tempe. Usually I go back to Tempe for $15. That's half of what I go to Tempe for right there. Half. $14. Whoa, that's crazy. $14 to go 20 miles up the highway. Like I said, it's about to be an event down here. So I'm not really looking at going down there. $10 for 10 miles. Now they added $3 to the last ride because the last ride was what? $7.94. So they added about two bucks. For the same distance and i'm like nah i'm cool on that i'm cool four dollars no nah, from the footprint center no nah, that's where it's busy right now that's where it's super busy right now and it's gonna start surging in a while which is why people are trying to get out of there right now but for four bucks it's, it's not worth it to me to go deal with that traffic because right now i'm sitting in traffic 
And there's something else right there. 311 is right down the street for like two miles. Nah. Hey, well, let's turn some of this stuff off. Because right now, people are starting to get a little crazy. But let's turn this off real quick. $21 to go all the way up to Peoria? Yeah. So what, what's happening is... Let me turn everything off long. What's happening is the surge is about to build up. So a lot of people are trying to get out of here. So we're going to start getting a whole bunch of cheap rides flooding us. And there's a lot of traffic around right now. A lot of traffic. You know, we got Waymo sitting in front of me right there. There's an Uber taxi van next to him. Me, I'm an Uber Lyft driver. It's like you got three ride share people in a row right now sitting at the red light. It's crazy. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See, there's the Waymo right there. And then next to him is the like little taxi. And you got the ambulance. But yeah, there's the Waymo. There's the taxi taking off. And I'm ride share. So you got three people doing logistics. I'm going to let this Waymo get over. He's got his turn signal on. Yeah, but you got three people doing logistics right now and all of this crazy traffic. I'm letting you over, Waymo, get over. There's no driver in that Waymo. When I see these cars on the road, I get out the damn way. I'm not going to let they ass smash into me. I get out the way. When they got their blink, like yesterday, one had his blinker on, I got over quick as shit. I was like, oh, I moved out the way. I don't know that car. Fuck that. Yeah, but I'm about to turn and go back to my gas station. Yep, there's the Waymo. It's on his way down the road. There he is. But that's what we got, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of people right now doing logistics. We got Waymo's, another one just shot right past me anyway. But, you know, it, it's about to get crazy busy down here. So I'm sitting over at this Circle K. I might pluck rides from over here for a while. But for the most part, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, let me get in here real quick. I'm going to cruise back to my old spot where I was sitting before I took new dispensaries right across the street from me. But... Yeah, man, this is about to get nuts. They're trying to get everybody from downtown right now with nature hikes, and everybody's trying to, you know, get their money and go. They're like, hey, man, if I just fucking, you know, get my ride now, then I won't have to pay a lot. It's like, shit. It's like, I'm not falling for that. Do, do, do. About to do a real quick trip right now. It's five bucks for like two miles, but it's right down the street. So I'm going to cruise down the street, pick up Ron real quick. Like I said, I'm leaving my little hideout. So I'm going to go down here, pick him up. Hopefully there's no traffic. If it's traffic, I'll just cancel him and call it good. But I'm cruised down here right now by Washington. And they're doing this right before it surged, which is cool because they won't mess with me. Once I'm down here, I'll pick him up, get him to where he needs to be. Surge won't start for about another 30 minutes to an hour. And that way, I'll at least still be in an area. It's only a mile down, so I don't care. I'll still be in the area. But if they start fucking with me and they're trying to do some shady shit, like I said, if it, Excuse me, if there's too much traffic, I'll just call it good. I'll just cancel and I'll go just sit somewhere for a while. So you see on the map right now where it's telling me to go. It's telling me that he's, I got to turn right here to go get him. But if you look at right here, this is what I'm talking about. They've got the street closed right now. See that? The street's closed. I can't make a right turn. The whole, I mean, a left turn. The street's closed. You can see no left turn. This is the shit they pull at all these concerts. No left turns. Look at all these people everywhere waiting and shit. Look at all these people standing everywhere. All these people are waiting right now. And I can't even turn left to go get my guy because the apps don't have it set up right. They got it to where I can't turn left. So I got to cancel them. There's nothing I can do about that. So I have to just cancel them. And it's just what it is. Turn this shit off. See, with, with the apps messed up like that, they don't know how traffic is going. All these streets are closed down here. You can't make a left, so I can't pick nobody up. So now I got to go somewhere and chill and relax and just, you know, get me another fucking ride. Still not surging right now, so I had to get out of that area. There's way too much construction going on back there. Everything's down to one lane. Even coming down Washington, it all goes down to one lane. So when you got half the fucking city of Phoenix driving downtown on the main street going down one lane, it's gonna get pretty fucking crazy. I would have never made it to that dude. I'd still be stuck in that traffic trying to get through that. Everybody was, because nobody could turn left until one street hit, everybody was trying to go for that one street. So everybody was blocked. So what I decided to do was just get out of there. So now I'm just driving right now. I'm, I'm cruising up away from the event. I'm kind of going north a little bit. I want to pick up people on Roosevelt and stuff like that. I don't want to do any Washington or Jefferson pickups. I'm doing all pickups on this side of town right now. So hopefully, I'll get some rides up here. But I'm definitely not going back down on Washington and Jefferson. I probably won't do any concert rides because it's, it's a complete clusterfuck down there. You can't make left turns, way too much traffic, and everybody can only go down one street to go left. So I'm not going back down there. I'm going to kind of go do my own thing.
Now I'm relaxing just north of the event, so I'm gonna turn on the app. Hopefully they don't put me nowhere near where I'm thinking they're gonna try to put me. Cause I'm not about to have that shit. Nope, nope, nope. Look at that, 450. Nah, that's, that's, nah, for four miles for 450 and it's busy as hell, nah, I'm cool on that shit. I need some at least 10 or $11 for about four miles. 10 or $11 for four miles, you got 17, you got 11, oh, they got a lot of shit happening up. Third Street, Adams, Jefferson, definitely not Jefferson. Uh, Uber X share, I'm not doing any Uber X share tonight, sorry. That's automatically a no. That shit says Uber X share, it's automatically out the door. So right now, none of these trips are anything I want. $15 to go way out to Scottsdale. I don't want that right now either. I need $10, four or five miles, and I'll take it. But anything other than that, I probably won't touch it. $16 for 23 miles, definitely not touching that. Let's go like this. Let me see something. What else we got up in here? $9 for that? Nope. $12 for 11 I like that right there, but it's on Washington Street. I can't do Washington Street right now. But I like that one for 993. That that's a good ride, but it's sitting on Washington Street and I'm not doing that. I like the Adams and Central. That's not bad. I, I'm not going over there. $14 for 12 miles. Nope, not doing that one. 395, that's out of the equation. Yeah, so they they've got some good looking trips coming up, but nothing like this dollar a mile shit. No, I'm cool on that. We're not doing those. No. We're not doing any of these. Let me start cruising back down this way. $16 for 16 miles. Nope, we're not going to mess with that either. Get out of there. Oh, big ass fucking fire truck's about to come out the building. $7.95 for 10 miles. Nope, we're not doing that one either. All right, they got to give me something good. Oh, damn fire truck right behind me. I knew it was going to happen. Knew it. All right, scooting up some, scooting up some. 963, nope, nine dollars for nine miles, nope. A lot of these trips are not looking too good right now. A lot of them, there must have been a car accident because I mean, I just passed a fire truck house and as soon as I turned around and started coming back this way, like I said, and it's headed down towards, you know, Washington and Jefferson. So, hey, half mile away for four miles, let's take that one. Let's see where they got me going though. All right, I got a drop down Van Buren. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Come on, car, fucking go, you motherfucker. Let's go. All right. So I'm gonna cruise over here, drop down, pick them up. I like that trip. That's good. It's not exactly where I want to go, but you know, ten bucks for like four or five miles. That's all I was looking for, and I kind of got it. So I'm not looking for nothing crazy right now. I don't need no $20, $30 trips. Now I only go four or five miles, staying away from anything that's washed in Jefferson. Adams is okay. All president names down the street. Adams is okay because it's right here. I'm sitting right there. Not a bad hit. But anything that's too far down, once you start getting farther down, down here, yeah. Footprint Center, you don't want to touch that. Because Footprint Center is sitting on Jefferson. That's sitting on Jefferson right there. And then Washington is the next one over. So they're on Adams right here. Perfect pickup spot. So he's going to be able to get picked up. He's on Adams. Washington Street, the next one over, he wouldn't have got picked up. I would have been like, hell no. So hopefully he's not on the street that I can't turn down so I don't have to cancel him. That quick drop wasn't too bad, about $2 a mile. So now let me see what my next one's going to be. This is getting pretty good tonight. This is not bad. I've done... No, that's not good at all. <laughs> yeah, they took that shit away quick as hell. It was like, not him. Don't give it to him. They know my account. They fucking put that shit on the screen and pull it away quick as hell. It's like, nope, don't give it to Jeff. 348. Um, no, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's about a dollar a mile. Not, not tonight. We're not doing a dollar a mile tonight, fellas. Sorry. You guys got to come up a little bit better than that. Come on, you little fucking dusty ass Kia Soul. Get out the fucking way. Motherfucker don't even use blinkers. Hate that shit. People be driving and they don't use blinkers. Four bucks for that. Uh, no, we're not doing that. That's Uber X share anyway. Uber X share automatically get X'd out. They should put that shit on the tier by itself, but they know nobody will ever select it. So it's like, if the money was there, if that was like, let's say, for that five miles, if it was, let's say, 10 bucks, I would have took it. And I'll just put it on last ride. But with the amounts they putting on there, nah, it's not even worth it to me. I don't even mess with that shit. But hopefully, I can turn on Lyft right now. Let's see what Lyft's got. Because right now, Uber's kind of, you know, searching for rides right now. There's a lot of people downtown, like I said. 
They got all that surge sitting downtown right now. And I'm not about to be messing with them people. Nine bucks for 10 miles? Nope. That's about 13 miles almost. Nope. Let's go on trip radar. 445 for some chicken buckets. Fuck them chicken buckets. All right. Let's go see what else they got in there. Oh, shit. Man, I hit the fucking button by mistake. Damn, that's like $7. There's only a little in there. No, nah, that, that's not even right. Nope, nope. Yeah, I hope they don't match me with that because I'm just going to kick it out. All right. They keep giving me bullshit trips. They keep putting stuff in my way. I made a mistake and hit that anyways. I'm, even if they match it with me, I'm not going to... What C list means? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, let's, let's hurry up and kick him out the equation real quick. I accepted that by accident. We didn't mean to do that. They need to put the accept button also on trip radar. Because, like, when you're trying to move your screen, you hit something in trip radar, they're going to match you with it. I don't like that shit. I just cancel it. It's like 421 for that? No, nah, that's like three miles for four bucks. No, nah, we're cool on that shit. Let's go see what Griff got going on. Let's turn these motherfuckers on. See what they got. They ain't going to give me no surge because I'm too far out. This is probably nothing over here. 421, nope. Let's go over to Lyft and see what they got. 12 bucks for say like 16 miles, nope. Let's go back to Uber real quick. Now they sending me crazy trips right now, crazy trips. Five bucks for like three miles. Nah, we're cool on that shit. <clears throat> Get it up to about six, seven dollars and we'll do it. They See, they moved that up because that was about three or four dollars a second ago. They just jumped that up to 520. Okay, $11 for like, what's that, almost 18, 19 miles? No, we cool on that shit. Let's go over to Lyft, see what they got going. $5 for five miles? Nope, not doing that. Let's go back over to Uber and see what Uber's doing. $9 for 10 miles? Nope. I said, I'm quick with this shit, man. I know how to work this phone like I'm like, you need two phones. No, I don't. I need two thumbs, motherfucker. That's different. If I had two thumbs, I could really do this shit fast. I only got one thumb. I'm driving with the other one. I need two thumbs on one hand so I can go through these trips a little, a little bit faster. Motherfuckers like, dude, like everybody getting prosthetic fucking everything. I'm going to get a prosthetic thumb. Fuck that. Give me an extra thumb, doc. I want a thumb next to my thumb so I can really go through these rides kind of fast. Like, man, this I ain't never seen nobody come in for a fake thumb. Like, motherfucker, I'm a ride share driver. I need a fake thumb. Fuck that. About to get all these goddamn trips declined faster. <laughs> It's like, damn, all these trips are garbage. Look at that, man. Ten bucks for like seven miles. Five dollars for five miles. Nope. All these trips are trash. But like I said, at some point, was what's Liv talking about? Four dollars for three miles? No, let's let's I don't know what Liv's doing right now. Let's yeah, Liv is finally I'm in the surge with them. Let's go offline with Liv. Let's go back to Uber, see what they talking about. Nine dollars for like seven, eight miles. Nah, we cool. Three dollars for four miles. Nah, I'm cool. Yeah, they got a bunch of trip. Four dollars for four miles. No, nah, these are all garbage trips, man. Look at that. Twelve dollars for eight miles. No, nah, I need another ten dollars. Ten dollars for five miles, and I'll do it. Five, four dollars for four miles. Nope. I was like, that's what I'm not doing tonight. Sixteen dollars for about. Was that twelve dollars for eight miles? Nope, I'm not doing that one either. I need, like I said, they're sending me so many trips right now. Eight dollars for five, six miles? Nope, we're not doing that one either. Yeah, we need to get somewhere and kind of relax for a second. They ain't got shit going anyway. Let's turn this shit off. They ain't got nothing going too well. I already turned off fucking uh, lift already because they ain't got shit going over on that side anyways. So once I get up here, I can kick back, relax. You know, see if I can get some better trips going i hate to scout rides while i'm driving in traffic i don't like that shit because these motherfucking cars they'll hit brakes in a heartbeat you looking at the screen they'll hit brakes because they're about to miss their turn and now your car is clear up under the back of their shit so it ain't even worth it you'd be like man i just totaled my car out scouting these trash rides yep yep we're coming up on encanto all right now i'm at a stoplight i could scout at a stoplight that's pretty cool i could do that 14 dollars for 12 miles Mm, nah, it's Footprint Center. Nope, not going to the Footprint Center for sure. Turn all that shit off. It's like, I'm not going that far south. I'll do anything else. Like, there's going to be a lot of drivers down the Footprint Trend trying to get good surge rides and shit. I'm not. I'd rather do outskirt rides, less risk of my car getting hit, ding, damage, or something like that. You know, I could kind of kick back and relax. Let's go up some. This 
little car is flying. I, I don't know what it is about this car. Man, I barely hit the gas. This thing be cutting. I need to hear him get this part and put it on. I, I, like I, said, I don't mind the power. I do not mind the speed at all. But God damn, this thing cuts now. I'm going to be blazing through tires like this. Because when you got a lot of horsepower, you go through tires a whole lot faster. And this thing feels like it's really grabbing. It, it grabbed a lot at first. But now it just feels like it's really grabbing the ground. $14 for like 16 miles. Nah, we cool on that shit. Cool on that shit. I hate being on Central Avenue because there's nowhere to pull over and park. Is that got this big ass light rail in the middle of the street? You can't pull over and park nowhere. So it's got you driving down the street. It's like, geez. You got a 325 bonus for these ragamuffin motherfuckers. Nine dollars for 4.8 miles. Eh, it's close, but not enough. I don't think so. And they don't tip on Lyft, so it's not like I'm going to get a tip from the shit. Lyft is notorious for stealing fucking people's tips, so it's like, what you see on the screen is probably what you really going to get. So the best thing to do is just not even fuck with Lyft for real. I'm just saying if somebody, they're going to throw me a good two, three dollar a mile ride out there. If they don't, I'll just log off and, and start driving them. Thirteen dollars for about eight miles. No, we're cool. We're cool on that shit. Yeah, I'm about to cut across Roosevelt. Let me go down Roosevelt instead. I don't want to cut across. I want to go down Roosevelt. Ten dollars for about seven miles. Nope, we're not doing that either. Turning the corner. I can't mess with the phone because I'm making a left turn right now. I'll look at the phone in a second. All right. There we go. Yeah, when I'm turning, I don't fuck with my phone. I let that shit fucking tick, click, do whatever the fuck it wants to do. I don't touch it. $15 for 12 miles. Nope. Almost 13 miles. Good with that shit. I should have it back on Uber right now, but I'm going to wait till I get up here so I can park before I do that. $10 for six and a half miles. Nope. Don't think so. Man, it ain't no parking. Every parking spot is taken. God damn, I ain't never seen it this busy down here. Holy shit. There's no parking nowhere. $4 bonus. Let's go. Yeah, it ain't letting you park nowhere around here. They got everything blocked and all that shit. Man. $17 for 12 miles to go all the way up to Scottsdale. Doubt it. And that's extra comfort. But that's not comfortable to my pockets. Make it at least $2 a mile. Give me $25 for that and we'll do it. But I'm not doing that shit for no 12 bucks. All right, I'm going to turn right here. I'm getting off this street. Yeah, you walk out in the street if you want to, motherfucker. I'll run you over. People be out here walking. They don't even look. They just be stepping right out in the street. That's why I wish I had my Jeep with me so I could just speed bump motherfuckers all day. They'll fuck my BMW up if I run them over. I got that front spoiler on it. I need the Jeep. The Jeep will speed bump a motherfucker. <laughs> it's like... You get bumped and all of a sudden be like, chung, chung, what was that? I don't know. Pedestrian? Who the fuck knows? Motherfuckers better get out the fucking way. Another comfort ride. Fucking making it right so I can't look at the screen right now. All right, now I can look. $15 for 10 bucks? Nope, it's not good, not good. Need to make it at least 20 bucks. I'm going to let this car come out. All right, come on out, come on out. I'm just looking for somewhere to park, man. I, I hate fucking scouting for rides while I'm driving. Shit's dangerous. You fuck around and kill. $13 for 10 miles? No, nah, we're cool on that shit. Cool on that shit. Like I said, there's nowhere to park. I've driven for like fucking two miles right now. It ain't a single parking lot open for any driver to drive in the sit. This shit's dangerous as a motherfucker. It's like people can't park out here. Walk around and run somebody over by mistake. $11 for eight miles. Nope, we're cool. No, I'm just gonna turn this shit off right now. Cause I'm tired of it. It's nothing but shit rides anyway. So I'm gonna go up here and fucking find me a parking spot and I'll relax somewhere. Do you know why this is a tobacco free campus? Cause you don't want that smoke. <laughs> Still relaxing. Uh, let's see if we can make some money on Lyft. Let's see what we got. Then give me at least $2 a mile and it's not on Washington or Jefferson. I'll go for it. Definitely not going for it. $23, 27 miles. Yeah, that's not for me. That's for somebody else. Got a 425 bonus. Let's get something that's about four miles, perhaps $10. That's what I'm aiming for. Four miles, 10 bucks. 
I'll take it. Not on Jefferson, not on Washington. No nature hikes. Like I said, I, I'm willing to do that. But y'all obviously got to help me the fuck out. Let's go over to Uber real quick. Because Lip ain't going to send me nothing else unless I got Uber turned on. Like I said, these motherfuckers are connected. The moment you turn on Uber, Lip going to be like, hey, 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 don't go over there. Come over here. Like, man, fuck that. And Uber still ain't got no surge nowhere. Look at that, man. 20 bucks, 11 bucks, 7 bucks, 938. Man, $14 for 10 miles. None of these are $2 a mile trips. These are crazy. Like I said, Uber. Let's see something. What we got? $15 to go to Sky, go to pick up somebody at Sky Harbor? No, nah, we're cool on that. We're not going to Sky Harbor. This is 20 bucks for almost 28 miles over there. We're not doing that. Yeah, all of these trips, like I said, there's no surge connected to any of these UberX trips. Whoops. Uh, $7, 7 miles. We're not going that far south. Well, let's see what they're talking about over here. 20 miles, $17. Mm, nah, that's too far away of a ride. It's going all the way to Gilbert for 17 bucks. So now they could do a little bit better than that. Let's see what Uber's talking about. $10, 12 miles. Definitely not. Man, I'm at 10% AR right now. It's going to be under 10% if they keep this shit up. All right, let's see who's going to say something first. All right, that's Uber. $15, 11, $17 for 25 miles. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Uh, $15 for 11, 10 for 7. Nope, 13 for that, 6 for 5. No, none of these trips are worth it. That 2.4 mile is pretty good, but that's on Jefferson and 7. See, if it's on if it's on Jefferson, I can't do anything with it because it's already fucked up. $11 for 13 miles, no. See, if that wasn't on Jefferson, I'd do it. That's right down the street from me, but it's like a ton of traffic down there. So that $7, that'll probably be 7 bucks. It'll take me like 30 minutes to do that because there's nothing but traffic down there. So I'm not trying to do that. 16 miles for 16 15 dollars nope we're not doing that either what we got over here man if they didn't have all these trips over here on jefferson and jefferson and jefferson i'm looking for something like up in this area over here i don't care what uber's doing uber's not doing nothing worth nothing 14 dollars for that no we're cool let's turn off uber real quick because they're not doing nothing right now let's go look and see what kind of reservation they got maybe it's four in the morning Where's their reservation kicking out? 11.15 uh, at night. It's on Van Buren. No, I don't like that reservation. Uh, $30 to go down to Sky Harbor and take somebody clear up to Egypt. Nope, we're not going to Egypt tonight. All right, let's go back over here. Look at these reservations. $24 for like almost 20 miles. And you're going all the way up to Scottsdale. <clears throat> That's at 11.15. That's in about 20 minutes. Uh, nope, we're not going to do that. We're going to just not deal with that one let's go and get that off our screen real quick decline get that off our screen i don't want them to send me that shit ever again ain't nobody got time for that all right so far like i said they ain't got shit out here man this is just and then the, the king's game ended anyway so so the king's game ended so that was that footprint center you got concerts jumping off you got a lot going on down here but like I said, if, if the money ain't here, we're not dealing with the rides. We're just not. And I'm looking for something that's kind of far away from everything. I got 475 uh, surge, but that's the thing. There's no good rides out here for that 475. I mean, all of these rides, like, there's Washington, there's Jefferson. You do not want to go to that area. That's not where you want to go. Because if you go there, you're getting stuck in nothing but traffic. I was already down there. I had to cancel a ride. I'm not going back. And well, you're not going to make no money and my car's not going to get fucked up either. Because any $30, $40 I get, somebody hits my car, the insurance on Uber, is, your deductible is like $1,500 or something weird like that. Your own insurance ain't going to cover unless you pay your deduct. It's not worth it. I'm not dinging my car up for no, you know, $15. It's, it's way, I've been through too much shit with this car to not know that things do happen. So I'm not, no, nah, I'm not putting myself in that predicament right there. Nine dollars where we at Roosevelt and six nine dollars for four miles. Mm, it's more than two dollars a mile. Let's see. Let's take it. Let's see something. Where are we going? All right. It's right up the street picking up Tyler at the Killer Well Sex Club. That's a funny fucking place right there. Anybody who's been there before, when you drop people off at the Killer Well Sex Club, people are dressed like they're in a fucking movie. I've never been in there, but I'm going to have to go in there one of these days. I'm, I'm really going to go there and see what the hell's really going on in there. But it's the funnest looking place ever. 
I mean, everybody's dressed like, you know, they're they're in goddamn Pulp Fiction or something. The shit's crazy. I love it, man. But that's a good energy spot. Let me go pick up Tyler from the Killer Well Sex Club. Dudes was cool as hell. They had me playing some Meek Mill. I was playing Meek Mill, and he was like, hey, man, what's this little three series got? I was like, well, I don't have a whole lot, man. He's like, I said, it's just a three series, man. He was like, man, show us what this thing got. I was downtown. So I had to come here. So I was like, all right, hold up for a second. I said, let me, you know, get around. Let me get through this traffic real quick. And I kind of not really open it up, but just kind of punch it a little bit. And I told you, I just did that shit to where it fucked my car up to where it's like, it's like super fast. So I got on the highway. I hit that shit. I was fucking flying. These motherfuckers, when I finish, this is what they gave me. Check this shit out. As soon as I finish, this is what he gave me. Ain't that some shit? I'm like, motherfucker. He was like, hey, he said, you got any cash on you? I said, I don't know, like 20 bucks. He says, I don't need no change. What? These motherfuckers, man, cool as shit. Cool as shit. He said, man, I don't need no change. He, he said, hey, you got some cash on you? I said, man, I got like 20 bucks on me. He was like, you know what? I don't need no change. Dude, telling you, man, tonight's all right. Tonight's all right. I ain't made shit on the apps. Shit on the apps. But these motherfuckers is taking care of me tonight, man. I fucking love last night. Lady slid me 20 tonight one, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we got to make a comeback this December. We can't let these motherfuckers beat us. We got to fight back. You know what I'm saying? We got to fight back. And I'm glad everybody's doing what they're doing. There you go. Yeah, I'm glad everybody's doing what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to do the best we can do. Just the best we can do. There's nothing else outside of that. One thing we ain't doing is fucking rolling over and giving up. These motherfuckers, they want to take care of us, man. They want to take care of us. They want rides. They want good rides. They want fun rides, fun drivers, shit like that. And we got to be there to do it for them. We got to be there. So I'm like, okay, cool, bet. Let's go. Motherfucker straight up was like, you got any cash on you? I was like, man, I just got like 20 bucks. Says, you know what? I don't need no change. Man, man. I'm telling y'all, man, this is how we got to do out here in these fucking streets, man. These motherfuckers want to take care of us. These apps don't want to take care of us. We got to learn, man. Go for these riders. These riders love us. They love us. They respect us. They respect our vehicles for the most part. We just got to find them. Those are the ones we looking for. Fuck these ragged ass dusty motherfuckers. I told you I'm a dust cutter motherfucker. I'm cutting out the dusty motherfuckers this year. We got riders out here that really want to look out for us and take care of us. That's who we out here looking for. Shit like that. Not these non-tipping motherfuckers wanting soggy tacos at 9 o'clock at night. Fuck them. Pass them up. Pass them up. Because you're going to have the opportunity to meet cats like that right there. I'm glad I picked them up, man. I'm so glad I picked them up. Because I was like, ah, I almost said no. They came walking out to Killer Well Sex Club. They was like, yeah, man. I said, so what's in that club right there? Oh, man, just a bunch of fun, man. A whole bunch of everybody's in there laughing and joking, having a good time. He said, yeah, you never been there? I said, no. I said, dude, you got to go there, man. That shit's a lot of fun. So that's my sign right there. Go hang out at the Killer Well Sex Beach Club, whatever the fuck it is. I'm going to go there and kick it one night. It, man, I, I, I can't even explain how I feel right now. I'm so glad I picked them up. Because I was this close to saying no, but they was right around the fucking corner. Came out to be a $100 fucking cash tip on their ass. That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's go get it. Fuck that. And so I'm cruising right now behind a fucking minivan that don't know what the hell it wants to do. So turn Uber on. Let's see what they got. If this car didn't just pull up on the right side of me in the curb lane, I would have shot around this ragged ass minivan. I swear, none of a raggedy motherfucking the curb lane going the same speed as the minivan. Man. What was that eight miles, eleven dollars? No, I'm cool on that shit. Cool on that shit. When I was down there, they could have gave me that nine dollars for thirteen miles. Nah, you know what we gonna do? Let's turn this shit off real quick, cause they gonna start sending me a bunch of bullshit. Let's just turn that shit off. I'm not updating. Quit asking me, motherfucker. I'm gonna make a left turn if this van don't make a left. Cool, they're not making a left, so I'm making a fucking left. I gotta get from behind these people, man. I can't drive behind motherfuckers like that. It's not like I'm going anywhere in specifically any fucking way, so I just don't have to be behind them. That's all I give a fuck about. Can't stand driving behind motherfuckers that just won't hit their gas pedal. It's like, motherfucker, the speed limit is like 35. You're going 36. Motherfucker, you could go at least 40. You can kind of pick it up a little fucking bit. And then the idiot in the curb lane rolled up almost next to him, and he's going 36 miles an hour, too. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Get out the way. Like, let me get in front of y'all, and y'all motherfuckers ride side by side. Fuck that. Let me pass y'all. Can't stand that shit, man. If you don't go the same speed as somebody, just get behind them. So you motherfuckers form a line, a whole line of slow motherfuckers. 
like me, I like to be in an open lane. If I'm going slow and somebody want to get past me, I move over to the right. I let them shoot past me. Then I get back over to the left again. But I don't sit there and just hog up all the fucking lanes with slow traffic. I don't do that. It's like, man, people have no driving courtesy in this motherfucker. For real. All right, I'm in the bonus zone right now. Let's open this motherfucker up. I'm going to go back down Roosevelt. I was going to go straight, but I'm like, fuck that. Let's go down Roosevelt. $12 for eight miles, $4 bonus. Nope, we're not doing that. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I'm in a good mood right now. Fuck these slow drivers. I'm in a good mood. Let's keep making this money. Let's do it the right way. I'm picking up people off of Roosevelt. Like I said, that sex club was right off of uh, Roosevelt. Nope, $18 to go. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. That Killer Whale sex club was right on Roosevelt. I love picking up people off of Roosevelt because it's all good money. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Easily, let's do that. $9 for like two miles. Easily. That's an easy yes. Easy yes. Let's go pick up Tianj. Tianj. That's like a superhero's fucking name. I am Tianj. <laughs> Quick drop off on Lyft. I was over here when I did that one. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. No tips yet. But I got the 100 bucks. So like I said, that 100 is going to cover everybody tonight. But that was their real quick trip I just did right there. Two miles, nine bucks, 450 a mile. No problem. Then this trip here was nine dollars four miles so about two dollars a mile right there and those are cool dudes then this one was three dollars for like a mile so so far everything's well above a dollar a mile doing pretty well like i said the hundred bucks covers everybody tonight that's 450 a mile right there yeah that covers everybody tonight so let me go back in here and see if i can't get some some good surge going 725 give me two miles $15, that's $2 a mile. We're not going that far. That's way too far south. So that's down past my house. So $7.25, give me, I'm sitting over by Circle K right now. $21 for 19 miles. We're not doing that either. We're going to try to get at least three, four miles, you know, probably $10. 17 for 11. No, not, not thinking. Nah, nah. There's a lot of traffic on this little side street right here too. So I'm sitting over on the side. Uh, $17 for 12 miles. Nope, we're not doing it. Like I said, I'm not going back down toward none of that busy shit right now. And that Billy Joel concert is still going on. $17 for 10 miles. Nope, not. See, that's all at the Footprint Center. I'm not going to the Footprint Center. Like anything that says Footprint Center, automatically decline. See, automatic decline. It doesn't make a difference how many miles it is. I can't get by the Footprint Center because they're not letting you make left turns. You got to go all the fucking way down the street turn left and come all the way back by $19 for 14 miles nope not doing it and so I'm not doing anything footprint anything north of me I'll do if it's north of me or to the east of me a little bit I'll do it I'm gonna run third nah $17 for 12 miles nah we're cool on that they've got to get me up north a little bit I need to start going north $14 for 5 miles ooh that's looking pretty good right there let's take that one I'll do that one all right, so I'm going to go. He's right up north a little bit so I can cruise up, pick up Jared, get him to where he's getting to, and then go back. Like I said, I'm loving this shit tonight, man. Tonight's a fun little night right here. We can go out and make some money. Let's do it. Plus, the $100 covers everybody tonight. Everybody gets free rides, no tips. Well, not a free ride, but you know what? Every once in a while, you get somebody who gives you that real good energy. That good and like I said, we passionate about driving, passionate about what we doing. A lot of channels out there don't get it. These motherfuckers don't get it. Energy is contagious, it's infectious. And when you show people energy, you show people love, and you show people, you know, you enjoy doing what you do. And you take this shit, you know, person. I take my car personally. I might not take Uber and Lyft fucking me over personally, because to them it's a business, but I take what I do personally. I don't take my dealing with Uber and Lyft personally, but I take my dealings with these pa passengers and riders. Because we're in here sharing the music, we're laughing, I'm showing them shit about my car, we're talking about life and kids and shit like that. That's not business to a certain degree. At some point, you're sharing a part of yourself with these people, and they're sharing a part of themselves with you. And when you do that well enough, people appreciate that, and they'll return that energy to you. A lot of these low-energy motherfuckers, they'll never be where we at. Never be where we at. Lyft is on some slick shit. So I did that real short ride just north of downtown and now this is where i am compared to downtown i'm out of the surge you know how they got me out of the surge they sent me north then they linked me with a ride the last ride i just did it was it was a decent rate right there it was this one right here it was 15 dollars for like eight miles i was like okay it's about two dollars a mile i'll take it 
and it had a nice surge. It had an $8 surge on it. So I was like, I'll take it. But this is the thing. They shot me outside of the fucking surge. Look at where I am now. They will strategically get you out of the fucking money. Because they shot me north where that three and that two is, and I was still in the surge. I was doing good. But now that I'm way out here, I just turned my app off. Because I'm not doing no rides up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Grand. That little slant street right there, I'm going to hit Grand and go back down at least to the tip of the surge. But I'm not doing no rides out here. Fuck no. I didn't want to be up here. But they knew what they were doing. They shot me straight north. And I was like, who's only four miles north? No problem. It was this trip here is what got me north. The 725 surge. This one. Well, 676. I was like, okay, they got me going north a little bit. No problem. Because it was two miles to get to the person. Like 1.7 miles. And it was like four miles up north. Easy, easy. But then they shot me out to the fucking west with this ride right here. Shot me straight down. I was like, these slick motherfuckers, man. I didn't know it was shooting me west because when they added a ride to the queue, I just accepted it because of the price. I didn't know exactly where it was going. I just said, I like the price of it. That's why I don't like when they send you rides like that. They don't tell you where you're going. They just tell you distance. They need to tell you distance, what direction you're going, all of that shit. That way you can make a better decision. I made a horrible fucking decision because I'm thinking, okay, it's, it's got an eight dollar surge on it. You know, I could I could do that. Not no problem. I'll do an eight dollar surge. Shot me the fuck out to the goddamn west, and now I'm sitting out here with no surge. Okay, now I'm sitting out here on Uber right now. I can kind of see what exactly I got going. Um, hopefully, let me see. Yeah, there yeah, ain't no surge near me at all. So right now I'm on Uber Pet. So I'm I'm sitting on Uber Pet right now. I'm gonna see if you know they'll help me out. They'll give me a ride at least back down to where I'm trying to get to. Cause I can go straight down there, hit you know that 60, and then head back into the downtown area. It's only it's almost midnight, and so that kind of irritated me that Liv got me up here right now. I shouldn't have took that ride, but like I said, it was an eight dollar surge sitting on it, and I was like, you know what? Maybe it'll take me back south. Nope, shit shot me out west. Always, like I said, I wish when they sent you rides, when you were on a ride, they told you what direction this ride was gonna take you into. Otherwise, you end up with getting done what I just happened to me. Just don't like it, I don't like it. But I'm gonna head down here in a minute. I could go straight down, hit that right there and pick up that 350 on my way back. But yeah, that shit, man. They, they always up to something. You got to watch these apps, man. Watch these apps. Because they're notoriously for pushing you out of the money. And they they did it. They know I wouldn't take one ride to get out of the money. So they did it to me in two rides. They got me north and they sent me west. And they thought that I was going to come up here and work up here. No, I turned that shit off. I'm not working up here. and don't surge up here. I'm going right back to where the money's at. I'm going to turn and live back. I'm going to see if they can give me a trip that takes me back towards downtown from where I am at. Even though they give me something that's like eight, nine dollars to go back downtown, I'll do it. But I got a funny feeling they're going to try to keep sending me out further away from downtown, like way out here to the west where there's nothing out there. This is where all the money's at right now. That's where they got me right now. So I got to get myself back over there because they ain't going to do it for me. So there you go. There you go. Okay, I'm cruising right now. I don't have any apps on, but I'm about to turn them all on right now. Let's do something real quick. Let's go to Uber Pet so I can see if this surge is real or if it's fucking fake. You hit the go button with Uber Pet on, everything will disappear. See, things will disappear. That's why you got to keep it running because it'll let you know what's fake and what's real. None of that was real. It was all fake surge around me on my screen. So I'm headed straight down to this 11 right now, right by Van Buren. Hopefully when I get down there, it's still there. But I had to stop at a big ass train and I'm like, oh Lord, never fails, never fails. Just when you're getting everything put together and all that big ass train comes out of nowhere. But I got it on Uber Pet. Let's see if they'll actually get me closer to where I gotta get to so I can pick up some surge and make some good money down there. Haven't made a lot on Uber tonight. I made what? You know, all my monies I've been making on lifts. I've made probably about 60 bucks on lift, 10 here, then a hundred dollar tip. So I'm not sitting too bad so far. By midnight, I'm sitting okay. That, like I said, that tip helped out a lot. Because without that tip, I'd be sitting at like $60, $70 right now. <laughs> it's like, jeez, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But Lyft, I might leave Lyft off for the rest of the night because like, they're notorious for doing shit like this, pulling you out of the fucking money. Notorious for that. And then when you get out of the money, you got to like, I had a ride and everything. Some girl like, you know, was looking for a ride. So I was like, okay, cool, cool. 
So I was gonna pick her up and come down. But she just, she never came out of the fucking house. So I just canceled the ride. I didn't give, I mean, I waited for probably about a minute and a half, but I didn't see no movement or no nothing. She never came. So I just canceled her and just got back on the road. It was on Uber actually. And it said, you know, it notified the rider and everything. So I pulled up and nothing. She never walked, it was, I was there, like I said, a good minute and a half. No movement, no nothing. I fucking got out, cause I got, I gotta make money. It was a six dollar ride and it was coming to right where I'm going. I could have used the six bucks, but then dicking around with them, I would have missed a chance to get like all this surge and everything. So I was like, no, I'd rather go get surge and get free money than sit around waiting on a motherfucker that's not even coming out their house right now. So I had to cancel the ride. She's probably like, oh shit, he just canceled me and drove off. Yep, I'm that type of car. Sorry, I'm that type of car. If you're not walking out of your house and I don't see no movement, no text, no nothing, fuck that shit, I'm gone, I'm out. I'm, like I said, a lot of drivers will sit there and wait and twiddle their thumbs and shit in the driveway and you know send you a message and I'll fuck it, it's surge everywhere right now. So I'm gonna go to the surge, you'll get another driver because I'm not gonna sit there and wait and shit to see. And for all I know, four people could have walked out the house, I don't know. But I'm like, you're not letting me know where you at or how, how things are going and now nah, fuck that. Like I said, dust cutter. That's what I am tonight, baby. I'm the motherfucking dust cutter. I'm cutting dust. I'm not messing around. I'm gonna see how close I can get to this $11 before I throw this shit back on. They gave me up to what, $5.75 so far? Cool, cool. All right, let's see. Where's that 11? That 11's right up here. All right, so I gotta hit this right here and I gotta drop down south a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna hit this light and make a, what, a right turn? Put it back on comfort mode. All right, I'll see where they got me going. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go straight down and see if I can pick up that 11 bucks. Not too far from it. But again, I'm sitting at a red light right now. Like I said, they put the shit right on the other side of a red light. I hate when they do that. It's like, man. And it's probably going to drop to like seven bucks by the time I get to this fucking red light. And if it wasn't all this traffic around me, I'd just run it. Because, it, like I said, it's still kind of early in the day, plus all the concerts and all the shit going on downtown. So I can't quite run it right now. Now I got the green. Let's go. All right. I know everybody's going to be like, man, this dude be getting it. How the hell he be grabbing all these surges? Shit, I be moving, man. I be moving. I don't got time to play. And plus, with this car being a little bit faster to the reaction time right now, man, that is crazy. I'm like, what the hell's going on with this car, man? This shit's taking off on me. Come on, come on. All right, so I got to get up here and make a left to go down one of these side streets to pick it up. And this is like neighborhoods and shit over here. So this is crazy. All right, I right, got the 11. So I'm good with the 11 right now. So let's go back to Uber and see what we got. Maybe they'll give me something good. Maybe they'll give me something good. Let's see. Let's see. Damn. $54 to go way the hell out to 41 No, I'm cool on that shit. I'm not trying to do that drop right there. Dude, dude. That's a crazy drop. Man, that's nuts. All right. $51 to go up to Peoria. Eee, let's hear him looking trick trip radar. See what they got up here. 54, 51, 50. Damn it. I don't like that. They know how I roll, man. I'm not doing that shit. $51 to go. No. All these trips are garbage right now. All of them are garbage. This is nuts. These, these trips are crazy. 30 miles away. 40 miles for that. Let's take that. All right, I'll take that. Because that's not a bad trip right there. $40, $40 for 12 miles. They're lucky. Because I was not going to take that fucking trip. I'll do the 40 for 12 miles. I'm not doing no 50 for like 30 miles. <laughs> it's like, no. So they're going to get me out of here and get me up to Scottsdale 12 miles away. Oh, raggedy bastards. This is what they're doing. They're trying to get us out of here. That's cool. They're trying to get us out of here. Now that I'm down here now... I got a $2 a mile trip there. I got a, you know, maybe a $2 a mile trip here. It's got, I got $13 surges everywhere. So that's going to take me back down to Tempe. But if I can just play my cards right, I can stay up here a little bit longer, make a little bit more money. And that was a pretty good trip right there. Like I said, that was that, that trip I just did right there, 41 bucks. Really cool people, really cool people. But right now I got it on Paw Patrol because I want to actually get my bearings and see where I'm at right now. Because I don't, 
I just got up here. I haven't been to Scottsdale in a long time. So I need to kind of cruise and get my bearings and see what's actually going on. So, oh shit, I'm in the wrong area. Oh, I just made a wrong turn. Ah, God damn it, I got a U-turn. Okay, so I had to take me a quick break real quick. Let's see, what do we got going? Let's see. All right, let's fix all my mats back there. All right, thank you all for doing that. Let's go ahead and put it back on regular. Get it off of Paw Patrol, bam, bam. Let's see what we got going. Let's see what we got going. What do we got going? $28 for 10 miles. Oh, I'm not going 10 miles away. No, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to do something that's about like maybe four or five miles. 10 is kind of pushing it. I mean, it's not a bad trip at all. Really, it's not a bad trip. It's almost $3 a mile, pretty close to $3 a mile. But it's, you know, 21 minutes of driving. $15 for that. Let's accept that. Let's take that. I could do $15. Where are we at? All right, we're right up the road real quick. Perfect. Let's go pick up Chelsea. Hopefully she's ready because I would hate to fucking cancel you, Chelsea. This is a good ride right here. Don't make me cancel you. Scottsdale pickups. That's where the pickup is right there. But she's way up here. So what I got to do. All right, let's let you go. All right, let's go. So what I got to do is I'm going to go this way to where she is standing, not to where the pickup is. I hate to do this shit. Hate to do it because that pickup is a dead end. There's nothing there. But that's what Scott Dale pickups do. They'll put you in dead areas. There's nothing right there. there this is like a parking garage, maybe. There's nothing there. So I got to go all the way up and around the corner to go pick her up over here at the W. So I'm going to go pick her up at the W. And like I said, that's... I'm turning on Lazarus. I'm getting the fuck out of Scottsdale. Give a fuck about these surges for real. Hate that shit. Because these motherfuckers, like, the map will put your pickup anywhere in Scottsdale. If you're in Scottsdale, it's no telling where your pickup's going to be. You could be anywhere, and it's going to put you wherever they want to put you. That's why I don't like doing it up here, man. The infrastructure's all fucked up for ride share. It's like, so I got to go up here, even though her pickup is right there. So, whatever. Let me, hopefully, she's ready. It was a really quick ride, and I'm right here by a $19 surge, so I'm going to go back to Uber Pet real quick, and I'm going to go back online to make sure that $19 is real. Uh, doesn't like it's disappearing. It could be real. We might be in contention for a $19 surge. That was my last ride right there, 15 bucks. Like I said, it was pretty quick. 15 bucks, like 2.4 miles, basically like close to about $5 a mile for that one. Not bad, not bad. The 19 is what I'm going for now. I mean... I probably won't get I got to go up Scottsdale Road to get there. And it's like, as you can see, it's like in somebody's fucking neighborhood. So you got to pass Lincoln Drive. Oh, no. If I got to go past Lincoln Drive, yeah. Let, let's not go get that. Let's not. And downtown is still, you know, here's downtown way over here. Nothing down there. But yeah, if I go up to Lincoln Drive to get that 19, uh, that's, that's hard right there. That's hard. Let me see something real quick. I can get Indian School. Get off at McDonald. How about Indian Ben McCormick? I could actually go get that 19. I bet I could go down there and get it. But I'm not going that way. I got to hit the highway. If I get the highway and wrap back around, I could probably go get it. Let's try. I ain't got shit else to do. It's been a pretty lucky night. So let's roll the dice, motherfucker. Let's roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> go get this $19. Why? Because I guarantee there's no other drivers going up there. A lot of drivers are downtown. I got sent up here by mistake, so let me try to capitalize on these mistakes. Lyft try to, I haven't turned Lyft back on yet because they pissed me off and sent my ass way up the highway the other way, and that pissed me off, man. It's like, nope, you got one chance to play me sometimes. Was well, it? You got one chance to play me. Once you play me, I know how your ass is rolling. They trying to keep me out of the money. They were sending me to areas where there was no surge, just dumping me off. At least, you know, I grabbed the Uber ride. Uber got me all the way up to Scottsdale. You know, there was a good surge coming up. And now I got a good surge, you know, on the last ride, it was like $5 a ride. Now I'm trying to go get this $19 right here. But if I don't get it, it's cool, because I can just go sit somewhere and chill for a second. I need to take a break anyways. But I'm gonna try to go get this money right now. And there ain't nothing, a red light, of course, red light. That surge disappeared, so now I'm, I'm gonna turn on lift real quick. I got Uber running in the background. But I turned on lift real quick because that surge disappeared. Nine dollars. No, we're not doing that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're not doing that. Give me something better than that. Like I, said, I don't think Liv realizes who I am. These motherfuckers be messing with me all the time. They be like, Jeff, come back. Six dollars for that. 
Uh, nope, we're not doing that either. It's too much, too much. Now I'm out of the surge, just about. Yeah, because they got some stuff right down here at Scottsdale right now. I'm at a $2 bonus. Where we at? Yeah, that's Scottsdale. They got some bonus down there. I'm gonna head it back down there in a second. So I got $50 on there, and I got about, how much over here? 67. So that's what, 117 plus 100 in my pocket makes 217. 217 on a day so far. Let's do it. Ten dollars to go about ten miles all the way down to Tempe. Nah, we're cool on that shit. You can keep that. And pretty soon they're gonna take me completely out of the bonus, but that's cool. Was that fourteen dollars? Nope, we're cool on that shit. Nope. If they take me out of the bonus, the moment they take me out of the bonus, I'm just gonna log off and just not be bothered with Lyft. Ten dollars for ten miles. Nope, we're not doing that either. All right, let's be out. Let's be just done with Lyft. I don't think they have anything, anyways. Lyft don't have much, so I'm just gonna kick them to the curb, not deal with them. And I have nothing. Like I said, that nineteen dollars disappeared up here. Cool. Your rag of muffins. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers took my money. Look at that. All these things. No tips whatsoever. Uber motherfuckers don't tip me for shit on Uber. No tips at all. Even if they, because I got $11 surge and a $12 surge, so $23. Guaranteed these motherfuckers tipped me, and Uber probably kept the tips saying, well, we're going to constitute your tip as part of the surge. Because that's what these raggedy motherfuckers do. That's what they do. They t steal your money and act like the surge that they put on the screen is what you earned. All you did was get your tip back. That's all you fucking did. The surge was your tip. If they tip you 10 bucks, you get a $10 surge, guess what? You ain't getting shit. You have nothing now. That's just how they fucking roll. Phoenix is down there surging like crazy right now. Yep, Phoenix is going good. Phoenix is going good. And I'm up in Scott's hell. But, hey, that's life, man. That's life. Let's go and let's see if they got some good rides out here on UberX. And it doesn't say if it's busy or not. We'll decline a few motherfuckers and see what happens. We're like, hey, get that car. Nah, you don't want me. Trust me. You non-tipping motherfuckers don't want me. Cause I drive for the money. Look at that, all these 11, 18. That's going to Phoenix. That's going back downtown. Culture Tree, that's downtown. 15 is going Central Ave, that's downtown. All right, what about that 18? That's going to Scottsdale, taking you all the way back to downtown. $11 for that, nope, don't want that either. Damn it, it moved, I don't want that one. I was looking at this one right here. 18. No, I didn't want that one. I was looking at the other one and they gave me the wrong one. No. They be moving the screen too fucking much. They need to stop moving this goddamn screen. Keep this motherfucker steady so people can actually select shit. Every time you try to move something, they moving everything around. So I just cancel motherfuckers. It's like, it's not my problem. See, like this. They're gonna start moving shit around again. I'm looking for that $18 ride going back downtown. But it disappeared. So, no. I would have took that 18, though. I would have took that 18. But the rest of these trips, nah, it ain't fucking worth it. Because all these trips are going north. I can see that $16 is going towards West Grove Parkway. Nah, it's too much. Yeah, none of those trips are worth it right now. So, yeah. The 18, I would have took it. Because it would have got my ass back downtown where there's actually some surge and shit like that. Because I hate being in places where this is just fucking dead. And I know right now, you know, Scottsdale's going, they're going to be able to do something in a while. No, we're not doing that for four bucks. No, we're cool on that shit. Get a Waymo, motherfucker. If all we getting is four dollars, you might just use the fucking Waymo. $17 to cut way over there. No, I just came from over there. I want to go $18 downtown. Let's do that. $18 downtown. Nope, that's $18 too far away. I'm trying to go downtown. I'm not trying to do that. 20 bucks, that's going to Gilbert. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. 20 bucks to Gilbert, nope, not going there. Uh, 16, 17, going way the fuck out to nowhere. Nah, that's $17 for 16 miles, going way out to the middle of nowhere. I need to get somewhere and park so I can start scouting rides because they're going to start sending me shit. Damn, Cave Creek Road, woo. That's, that's way up north way up north that's not good 
See, thirteen dollars down to Guadalupe. Let's not do that one either. Let's see what we got. Twenty-one dollars going thirty-third half. Thirty. No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Twenty-one dollars going twelve miles. Nah, I'm not quite feeling that. I'm not feeling that. See, that's way too north right there for Cave Creek Road. That's not for me. It's way too far north. And if these people would tip, yeah. But like I said, the reason why a lot of us drivers aren't taking these trips is because we know the apps are stealing whatever y'all are giving us for tips. So if the apps are stealing the tips, it's leaving y'all hanging. You motherfuckers ain't never going to get a ride. You need to tell the app. You need to tell the driver, I would like to put money in your hand. I want to give you money in your hand. I don't trust the app giving you money. Tell your driver that shit. Because if y'all's trying to put this shit in our hand, like a motherfucker the other day, there was no way possible he could have gave me a $100 tip on the app. No way possible. But he wanted to tip me the 100 bucks. He was like, you got, he said, how much cash you got? I was like, well, like 20 bucks? I don't worry, don't, I don't need no change. Here you go. Look at that, six bucks to go way up north. No, I'm cool. Like I said, and that's what's going on right now, man. All these people, was that, $11 for 16 miles? No, we're cool on that too. And this is all three three dollar boost and shit. Picking up somebody at the Boondocks, taking them down to 18th Street, Missouri. Yeah, that's going back downtown. But with a 350 boost for twelve dollars, you can give me eighteen dollars. I'll go back downtown. Eighteen is that's 53rd Ave. That's way too far out. Nope, way too far. Seven bucks. Uh, no, I'm not going down to McDowell. Not for no seven dollars. I'm not. Like I said, most of these trips, 15, Mill and 4th Street, Tempe, $15 going down to Tempe. Man, that's, that's, that looks like a good trip, but no. $11 taking me back out towards downtown. Nope, nope, nope. $12 going to Granite Reef. 16 going to 12, no. Where's that Granite Reef at? Yeah, 16, 50, let's take that one right there, going six miles. I'll take the 1548 going to Granite Reef if they give it to me. If they don't give it to me, then cool. Let's see what we got. Okay, quit doing the let's matched. Quit that fucking shit. Oh, not again. Not again. I'm going to tell it where I'm situated because I can't get where, where that is. I can't get there. Because that's actually into the club district area and I can't get into the club district area because they got all the roads blocked and shit like that so you can't get there. So I'm going to have to tell her where I'm going to be because uh, I think it's right by the W, by the Mint is right there. Okay, I see where they got it, right around the corner. All right, I'll be right there. I, I can get there. I can get there. I know where I'm going. All right, lady, you better be there because it don't look like you there right now. Get your ass over there or you might get left. Okay, I sent the lady a message saying that I was almost at the pickup and she's still at the fucking club area. She's still over at the club. So I gotta find somewhere to park over here and I'll park in front of this black SUV. Let me pull over right here real quick. All right, I'm gonna pull over right here and I'm gonna see something. See if she starts walking this way. Yeah, I don't think she's fucking moving, man. Fuck that shit, she ain't moving. All right, can't find rider, cancel. People got to move, man. It's like, if you ain't fucking that pickup, I got to get going. Fuck that shit. I don't play with you motherfuckers, boy. I'll be gone. That's going all the way up to Cave Creek. Let's take it. Fuck it. If you're here, I'll take you. If you're not, then I'm not. All right, Hugh. You, you getting an opportunity given to you because these raggedy motherfuckers ain't around, Hugh. You better be ready. That's all I'm telling you right now long one off just now that i picked up in scottsdale i'm headed to this guy and this is a uber x shared ride right here this is a share it came through uh it was like 0.6 miles to get to him for a 0.9 mile ride but it's like four dollars so i was like i could do that that's cool i could do that i'm up here anyways let's get this for it's like two dollars a mile i'll take it so hopefully it ain't nothing worse than that but like i said it's uber x shared i'm gonna go out this little gate right here go pick this guy up Hopefully there's nobody adds to it. I gotta find out and go get back to the money, man. I can't be up here all night. I gotta go get back to the money. All right, so I'm cruising right now. Go see how much we got. Holy shit. 
that six, that was a sixty-one dollar trip for thirteen. My dude left me a thirty-five dollar tip. Holy shit! Thank you, brother. Thank that was a thirty-five dollar tip. What the hell? And that one right there was something else. Thirty-five dollar tip. Wow. And this one right here was like a little. That was the Uberx share right there. So that Uberx share wasn't too bad. That was okay. But that thirty-five dollar tip. Wow. Wow, I am shocked right now. I'm shocked. I'm driving, so I can't really see right now. Damn, damn, thirty-five dollar tip. This is fucking crazy. This night is crazy. I think I just went too far. Yeah, this street's not an outlet right here. Damn, that is crazy. <sighs> that is nuts. That is nuts. I like that shit. That is a, and like I said, dude said he was waiting there for a while. Nobody was coming to pick me up. I was waiting there for a while. And he's a Jeep owner. He's got like an old one of the 80s uh, Jeeps or whatever. Damn, that is a good hit right there. Man, I needed that. This is why we out driving. This is why we out driving. We out here trying to do as, do as much as we can for people. You know, it's like, but I got to, wait a minute, where am I at? I don't know where the hell they got me at. There was some little side street over here. I was coming down, and it was like a little fucking banged up pup was up here. Yeah, and I'm not down far enough. Hold on for a second. I saw like a a little dog in the street. I was coming down, and I was like, what the fuck is a goddamn dog in the street right here? Let me close this real quick. On, man, that tip is crazy. But I got to see if this dog is like okay. Cause I was cruising and I saw a dog. I was like, what the hell is this little dog doing in the street right here? I think this is, might be the street right here. Yeah, this is the street right here, I think. Yep, yep, this is it. And I was like, are you serious? Look at this little fucking dog running out. I'm like, we got coyotes and all kind of shit out here. And it was like a little fucking uh, pup was running. I'm like, he ain't gonna fucking make it out here. This little dog is not gonna make it. Yeah, I don't see. He must have fucking darted off somewhere. It was like a cool little ass fucking. I think he was like a almost a chihuahua, a little black chihuahua. But I'm like, man, I, it's not that I almost ran him over because he darted across the street real quick, so he wasn't gonna get run over. But it's the fact that we're way up here in the north by the mountains and shit, man. He ain't gonna make it. But man, 133 on Uber today. 133 on Uber. $100 tip. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy tonight, man. This is crazy. Hold on, let me make sure I don't... Because like I said, I, I would hate for somebody... That to be somebody's dog. I just wanted to see if you had like a leash or something on them. I would hate to be... That would be somebody's dog that almost ran over. And they'd be like, where's my chihuahua? Like, dude, I don't know, man. Hopefully he'll be fine. Because this is the main street. This is Cave Creek Road right here. If he makes it to Cave Creek Road, he's getting run over. And this is like a little side street right off of Cave Creek Road. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he'll be okay. I got to get out of here, little pup. I got to go make some more bucks. Beamer bucks. Fuck these pups. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I just had to look out for that dog, man. Because that shit will break my heart. if I. There's a lot of dead dogs being in the street all the time. That shit will break my heart. Because I was I picked up Alan. I was coming around the corner. And I was like, oh, shit. Look at that little dog. He, like, darted across the street. And I was like, what the hell is a little dog like that doing outside at this time of night? And I mean, it's like, we got coyotes and shit out here. That little dog's gonna get chewed the fuck up. So, I wanted to go back and make sure, you know, nothing was, was fucked up with him. But so far, you know, I think he's okay. He'll be okay. I'm gonna go over and hit the 51 and get my ass up out of here. But I gotta get all the way back down south again. I'm kinda up north. Here's a Circle K right here. I gotta give me something to eat, too. Man, so 133 over there. Damn, what we got on lift? 133, 50 over here. So that puts me at 183 plus 100 puts me at 283. 283 and it's only 144 in the morning. Holy smokes. That's what I'm talking about, man. And we've been talking about needing these big ass nights. We said we need a really good weekend. Really good weekend. The $100 tip, the $35 tip, all these fucking things is working out, man. This shit's crazy. This shit's crazy. Dropping crazy tips off. Man, I got to go see that shit again. Hold up. Cause I don't get tips like that through the app. These line ass apps be fucking me over. 430, look at that shit. $35 tip. $35. And the trip was only supposed to be what? It was $26. 
Twenty-six dollars. Twenty-six dollars for the upfront fare, and the dude tipped fucking thirty-five dollars and sixty-two cents on that shit. That's crazy. What if he really tipped me fifty and the app took the rest? Oh, raggedy motherfuckers. <laughs> But still, I'm, I'm proud of that, man. I like that shit. That was a good trip. 13 miles for $61. 20 minutes, man. 20 minutes. Multiple out of times three, that's an hour. So it's like, that's $180 an hour rate right there. $180 an hour rate. Crazy. Crazy. Like I said, we needed a big weekend. I, my car has been down, man. It's been down. Y'all been holding me up. And the live streams and shit like that, I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been making me want to come out be back in the streets telling me how good y'all been having it and how bad y'all been having it you know the reality of ride share we've been talking about this shit i was i couldn't wait to get the fucking beamer back out and here we are you know everybody's out here hopefully everybody's having a great night a great friday night hopefully but man this like i said i'm at what 280 280 almost 300 bucks and it's only 145 this shit's nuts i used to be at this point when it was like six o'clock in the morning by now so i'm like four hours ahead right now like, what the hell, man? This is what I'm talking about. Let me turn it back on real quick. See if we got some more little fucking shit rides up here. I'm down 13%, man. Man, man, this is going to be all right night, y'all. This is going to be all right. Shit, I'm about to hit the highway in a second. Yeah, if I hit the highway, I ain't getting no rides. They better give me something before I get on this fucking highway. I'll tell you that much now. Trip radar, where we at? Six bucks for some Eriberto's Mexican food. You want some nachos? Go to bed. <laughs> Those motherfuckers ain't getting no nachos. Eight miles for six bucks. Go to bed. Yeah, I'm about to hit the highway right here. So, 749. Where are we at? North 28, down to Camelback. 749, nine miles. Nah, if I hit this highway, I can't do it. Y'all should have sent it directly to me. Sorry, I'm already on the fucking highway right now. So end of the rides we're done and i'm on a highway right now cruising south not looking too bad like hey 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 there's a car accident on the other side man that's a lot of police maybe that was a car chase and not an accident because that was a lot of suvs for one car but yeah let's see if i'm about to jump off down here on camelback because like i said there ain't nothing nowhere around here what we got over here five dollars for some dusty ass tacos Man, look at that. Five, ten dollars an hour for some tacos. Man, they out there motherfucking mind. That goddamn taco meat probably spoiled like a motherfucker. Ain't nobody eating them old ragged ass tacos. Five dollars, please. Damn near 13 miles. Man, now these motherfuckers don't be adding no, this almost two o'clock in the morning. And this is the kind of shit they doing to people. Ain't nobody fucking with that. Nobody messing with that. Like, hey man, I ain't gonna tip these people. I ain't worried about them, man. Fuck that. We're going Smith Road and Tempe. That's $14. Fourteen dollars to go fourteen miles is taking me back down to Tempe. Ooh, I, I don't know. I might have liked that. I might have liked that. Where are we at Indian School and down to Tempe. Seven dollars for that. Oh uh, no, we're not gonna do that one. I'm not gonna waste my time with that. Let's go to Tempe. Oh, somebody took it. I'm getting off at Indian School anyways. That's what they did. They fucked with me, so I couldn't get that one. That's cool. I was studying too long any fucking ways. Care less. Let's scoot over. We're going to get off here at Indian School. I'm going to cruise over. Try to man. And that's only in a quarter tank. I just did a quarter tank right now. I just made $283 on a quarter tank of gas. Holy shit. I just noticed that. That's nuts. Let me show you what I'm talking about, man. Look at that. Quarter tank of fuel. 267 miles left to empty. Already made $283 already on a quarter tank of gas. Damn, that's craziness. Craziness. $283 on a quarter tank of damn gas. $11 for multiple stops. No, we're not doing that. $12 for multiple stops. Mm, no, we're not doing that. I'm, I don't like multiple stops. Let's see what else we got. $17 multiple stops. Nope. Damn, what? what's the deal with these multiple stops all of a sudden? Let's go see what's going on in Lyft. Because maybe these people need to fucking quit. Uh, let me turn it back to... Okay, now I'm going. Alright, let's go see. Man, they got all fucking shit jumping off in here. There's a motherfucking party going on over here. 
$19 taking me down to Tempe. Whoops. That's going to Gilbert. Nope. I almost hit the motherfucker button. Yeah, I'm doing $22 going down to Tempe. I would have liked that one right there, though. $15 to go. What? Tempe. Multiple stops. Let's take it. I'm going to Tempe anyways. Let's go. Let's go to Tempe. The Dilly Dally. Let's go pick a motherfucker up at the Dilly Dally. The Dilly Dally. I went down a Cali. I bumped into this homegirl Sally from the valley. <laughs> that ride canceled. Now I got a lot jumping off right now. But I'm not picking that motherfucker up for no $3. No, I'm cool on that shit. So... Well, they got 950 down to the airport right now. I'm right up the road. What is all this going on over here? What's all this going on? Bunch of nothing. Bunch of fucking nothing. All right, let's see what they're doing over here. Airport? Nope. Lyft's got $10 for about 13 miles. Back to declining. Like I said, we got 950 right down the highway at the airport. It's not too far from me. Let's see what else we got over here. $12 for 10 miles. Uh, no, we're not going to do that either. Let's see what we got over here. Three dollars? Nope, not that. Three dollars for about four miles? Nah. Trying? To, oh, they got way too many drivers at the airport. Way too many. But I a nine fifty? I don't know. I could do that if I can get downtown again. I'll do some downtown shit. But was that? That's six miles away. That's what? Nah, I'm not doing that either. But I don't like it when I'm I'm starting to see all these goddamn trips, and they're like too far away from me right now. But they want me to get there and do some shit. I'm like, no. Nah. All right, let's see what we got over here. They both sending me shit back to back. 721. Now, let's just turn Lyft off. Because I don't think Lyft's ready to work. Again, once again, Lyft is in the shithole. Because they always give them fucking horrible goddamn rates. $14 for that? No. Nah. $14 for like 18 miles. Then we got $11 for like 11 miles. No. Nah. What else we got? $16 for 11 miles. Uh, do we want to do that? Pecan Road and 47th Street. I don't know. Because some of these trips just don't make no fucking sense. Not at this time of night. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. You know they about to have surge and shit and everything else jumping. $16 for 12. No, we're not doing that. Multiple stops. No, we're cool on that shit. We got to do something different. $10 for 11 or 12 miles. No. $12 for 14 miles. No. No, not that. 11, no, nope, nope, nope. That's about $11 for 11 miles. We're not doing that. 846 to go all the way back to Scottsdale. No, nah, we're cool on that shit. It's time to kick back and take a break for a second. Woo! Ah, get out the car. Man. Stretch your motherfucking legs out. Oh. <clears throat> There we go. Stretch out a little bit. Let's kick back. $11 for about 11 miles. Uh, nope. They ain't got nothing good going right now. Nothing good going. Yeah, there's no more boost because they ended at like uh, 2. So ain't no more boost going. Yeah, these trips are looking crazy. North 53rd and Inspiration Mountain. Fuck that. It don't even sound like an inspiration to take it. <laughs> I'm going to Inspiration Mountain. Yeah, you can stay there, motherfucker. I am not inspired to take that. Hell no. That sounds like it's far. See, look at that. That's going north, too. $8 going north. No, I'm cool on that shit. Like, I'm sitting pretty much central town right now. So, not too far off from, from some good shit. Oh, uh, Becker. Oh, yeah. Going over to Scottsdale to take somebody to Scottsdale. Nope, not doing it. 352 to go five miles almost. Nope. This might be the end of my night. This might have been it. Mm. Jefferson and third. I was taking people back downtown again. Six bucks. No, nah, we're cool on that. Let's go back over to Ragged Ass Lift and see what they got going. Mm -hmm. It's been a good night so far. We got surge and everything right over there. It's just something to take me back down to that area. Let's see. 1076, 
No, nah, none of these are looking good. None of them look, they're all a dollar a mile. That's not even a dollar a mile. That's not a dollar a mile. And that's not a dollar a mile. So none of them are looking good right now. So let's see what else you got in here. Mm, that's not a dollar a mile. Close. It's close to about a dollar a mile. Actually, it's pretty close, but nah, we cool on that shit. What else you got? 783. These are all look like they're Scottsdale pickups. Yep, Scottsdale pickup. That 14 is good. East Tucker stick way. Um, 844 for about 10 miles. Nope. Let's see if I can get that one. Let's see if I can get that $14 one. If they give me that $14 one, I'll take it. Damn, North 92nd Street. Yeesh, 20 bucks for like 14 miles. Uh, it's 20 bucks for 14, and this is for that. Picking up Chris is going straight down the street. Where is he at? Scottsdale. He's on Main Street. Uh... All right, let's go. Okay, so I was out riding and I picked these guys up and this girl, they were hilarious. So they like, let's go gamble for a little bit. So of course I went and gambled, made a little money. <laughs> this is how we do out here, 80 bucks, 80 bucks. It's all good. No. Mine's right there. Oh, that white one? Yeah. Oh, that's clean right there, brother. Man, y'all all right, man. Hey, thank y'all for taking me with y'all, though, man. And Real I don't know, shit. I don't, know Real they got, shit. I don't know if they got your number, but uh yeah, she uh, put my number because it was like in German. But I'm get my number real quick. Cause like I said, man, that was cool, man. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Drop was, something. Did you drop something in there? Yeah, man. But no, nah, I appreciate y'all taking me, man. That shit was fun, man. That appreciate shit was fun. you coming out. And then uh what's your? Uh, I'm 36, so oh, I tell motherfuckers I'm 50. I've been through life before, man. I'm I'm just loving life right now. And then I meet cool motherfuckers like y'all. Shit's too cool, man. Keep let hey, keep doing what you're like doing, said, man. Ne next Friday, man. Next Friday, pull up. Let me put it in for you. Here you go, brother. I need to get back on the craps table. Like that was. Yup, yup. I put Uber. Whoops. Let me do Uber Jeff. Uber. <laughs> Man, but yeah, once you start playing Craftsman, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Because, so like, that was right honestly there. one of the, I mean. Yep, there it is right there. Uber Jeff, that's it. That's hey, it. Man. Jeff, hey, appreciate you. I appreciate, appreciate you, big you, dog. Bro. Yes, hey, sir. Man, no problem. Hey, thank you for rolling and getting my money back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, like I said, I said it's all or nothing. Let's do it all or nothing, baby. Hey, you got home, that shit hey. back. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, get home to say, big dog. Hey, will do, brother. You yes, be easy sir. out there, man. All right. Man. Oh man, them cats was cool as hell right there. That shit was funny. And oh shit, Andy gave me a twenty dollar bill. That's what's up. He motherfucker gave me a twenty dollar tip on top of that. That's what's up. But that shit was crazy. That was crazy. So we get to the casino, and he was he was like, "Hey man, we want you to come in with us." I was like, "All right, bet." He's a dude. Just come in, just kick it with us for a minute. And he's like, "How much you can you make in the next hour driving Uber?" I said, "I don't know, man. 50, 60 bucks." I tell you what, I'm gonna give you eighty bucks. I'll give you 80 bucks, you come in with us. I was like, man, you ain't gotta do this. Said, no, no, I'm gonna give you 80 bucks. So we went in, they gave me 80 bucks. We was on the craps tables and I lost it all. I had probably $30 to my name. That was it, $30 to my name. I had what, I had a $10 hard eight, $10 hard eight. I had 15 on the line and then I had 15 behind it. So I had $40, $40 to my name, that was it. And I said, I'm putting it all on the line. I'm done. I'm, I'm just, I, it was free money anyways. They gave it to me. So I said, I'm putting all this shit on the line. So I threw it all on the line. And this motherfucker wrote a hard eight. Got all my money back. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So I got all my money back. And then I played a little bit longer. I went back down 80. But then he gave me 20. So I was a quick 100 bucks I made right then. Another $100 I made for the night, man. That was what's up. So they gave me the 80. Then he dropped me 20. And like I said, I was down. I was I had nothing left in front of me, nothing. And I got it all back off one fucking roll. That shit was crazy. It was like, oh, the whole table was like, oh, shit. I was like, I told you, man. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. We was rolling, laughing, rolling, laughing. And they was like, dude. And they was telling everybody at the table, this is our Uber driver. It was like, 
bullshit. This is yeah, our Uber driver came gambling with us. He was like, man, he just dude the dude at the table was like, man, you are the coolest fucking Uber driver I ever met. <laughs> He was like, yeah, we just told him, like, come in and gamble with us. So he, like, parked his car and everything. We went in and gambled. I was like, man. I said, dude, I, I, they was cool, though. They was cool. So I was like, well, let's go have some fun, man. Y'all cool as a motherfucker. Let's roll. So I went and hung out with him, man. We got there. It was about 2.20, 2.30 when we got there. And I just dropped him off. So it was, like, about to be 4 o'clock in the morning. So the last hour and a half, I made 100 bucks hanging out with them, laughing, joking, gambling, having a good fucking time and everything. But like I said, man, sometimes you just got to roll with the energy. Roll with the energy. They was cool as a motherfucker, man. So I was like, let's go. And now they tell me, I said, man, hey, Friday after the game, because they uh, do stuff on Thursday. They said, Friday, we going out Friday. We're coming back. We're going to gamble. You got to come with us, Jeff, man. And I mean, we were having a fucking blast, laughing, cracking up, playing blackjack, jumping tables. And it's like, it felt like old times back in Vegas again. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't really like gamble, gamble how I wanted to. Because I didn't really want to get digging into it. But there were some ways I could have won way more money than what I had. And I didn't bet the way I was talking. And it was rolling. Everything I was saying would happen was happening. I was like, this lady going to roll a hard eight. I said, I should just put my whole stack on a hard eight right now and walk off. I had like $80 in my hand. I said, I'm going to put the whole stack on hard eight and walk off. And within two rolls, she rolled a hard eight. Everybody was like, you didn't do it. I was like, I didn't think she was going to really roll it. I was just saying Another two rolls later, she did it again. That would have been twice. I would have had 80 times 10. It would have been 800. Then I could have left it on there, my 800 on there. And it would have been 800 times 10. $8,000 I would have walked out of that casino with. She did it back to back in four rolls. She rolled hard eight twice. I would have put 80 on there and I would have said, press it. And she would have rolled that shit again. And I would have went from 80 to 800, 800 to 8,000 and called it fucking good. I didn't do it though, and she wrote it just like I said she was gonna roll it. And everybody's like, You didn't do it. And we were laughing and cracking up and everything. He's like, I said, but you know what? I said, I still I didn't lose everything. I mean, I got 80 bucks. And then he just gave me 20 bucks right here on the way out the car. So, you know, that's life, man. That's life. Everybody had a good time tonight. We laughed, we joked. You know, that's that's life, man. And I know a lot of people say, You didn't finish driving. You know what? I didn't know they were gonna be my last people. I didn't know. Because I picked them up and they were all hype at the restaurant. Like, dude, we're going to go gamble. You got to come with us, man. You got to come with us. And I was like, nah, man. This is now. I, like, I got to run. How much do you make? How much can you make between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock? How much can you make? I, was, I don't know, like 50, 60 bucks. He was like, tell you what. I'm going to give you 80 bucks and you come in and play with us. I was like, all right, bet. I ended up walking out 100 total so far. So there we go right there. That's I got 100 from them. 100 from the dude earlier. Make the 200. And then I got... That's 200 right there. Then let me see if Uber will pull up. Uh, let's go over here. 200. And what did I get out of the whole day? That that would have been, what, 148. So that so far, that's 348. Because I got the 100 cash, the tip earlier. And I got the 100 from them to make 200. 200 plus the 148 makes 348. 348 plus what I got over on Lyft. So 348 and 50. $398, $398 I made today. And the last hour and a half of my night was gambling. <laughs> that shit's crazy. We had a good fucking time though. You know what I'm saying? This is why I love driving. Fuck with everybody talking about all these motherfucking haters on my channel. All Jeff's just, you know, he's, he's too, he like triggers people's emotions and he's this and that and he's too personable. This is why I get to go out and gamble with motherfuckers, man. Everybody has a good time. We have a good time. We're fun. And this is what I do on my YouTube channel. We have a good time on this channel. We laugh, we joke, we crack up. And so if motherfuckers don't like it, you ain't gotta watch my shit. Go to your own YouTube channel. Do your own fucking NPC carbon copy shit. I'm different over here because I enjoy life. I like to live a little bit. I drive motorcycles and shit like that. A lot of motherfuckers don't ride motorcycles. You can die any day on your motorcycle. But I choose to live every fucking day and fuck what anybody say about it. I enjoy it. I'm passionate about this shit. I love my life crazy $17 to go way down there man they're nuts nuts I'm like geez but they got some surge right here I'm headed down to some surge right now I'm gonna go try to do this but man I still got almost three quarters of a tank of gas right now three quarters of a tank and I've made $398 today so far <laughs> this is the funny and that's the thing for the last hour and a half making that hundred dollars 
I didn't use no gas. It was parked in the casino parking lot the whole fucking time. So I parked in the casino parking garage. I used no money to make that $100. None. No, it was zero investment making that hundred dollars. Basically, just parked at the casino, hung out, laughing, joking, having a good time and shit. And you know what? I like them guys, man. We are gonna do that shit again. I mean, the, the one guy whose account it was was Chris, and then the other guy and this girl, you know, her name was Ellie. I think she was from Holland. She she said I'm Dutch, and I was like, okay. <laughs> so then she was to get their phone numbers. I had to put my uh, phone number in their phone or whatever. So I did Chris's, but then I had to put it in her phone because his phone was dead. And you know, the motherfucker, all her information in her phone was in, in Dutch. It wasn't even in English. So I said, well, I guess the one at the top means my name, right? <laughs> and they started laughing and shit. And he was like, dude, he said that I guess the one at the top. He said, yeah, and the one by the green is like where your phone number goes. I was like, I'm glad you said something because I wouldn't have known shit. I mean, I'm looking at this whole phone and it's all in a whole different language. And she's like, yeah, I'm Dutch. I was like, okay, that's what's up. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm reading right now. Sorry. 467 what wait a minute no hell no Taylor 73rd no to go 0.4 of a mile no there's something wrong with that trip I mean ain't nobody driving trying to go no half a mile nobody's going no half I think the app threw that shit in there because I was about to hit this surge that's why they threw that shit on there nobody's trying to go a half mile have me go all the way back around for half no no $13 for 15 miles no I'm cool I'm cool on that shit the app didn't want me down in the surge is what it is. They saw me coming down is what it was like. God damn it, where he's been all night. And having a good time, man. Like I said, I got the Beamer back. Got the Beamer bucks back. And you know what's funny? Check this shit out. You know I brought that new charge pipe for like $175, right? I bought that new charge pipe. I just made $200 in cash tips tonight. I made $100 off the casino, guys. Chris and the casino uh, crew. And then I made the other hundred early when I dropped them guys off after picking them up from down to game and everything from the killer wet the killer well sex club. So that's my that was my charge pipe tonight paid for my charge pipe. That's why I love leaving the fucking house, man. It's like you gotta go out here and try to do something with your life. Go do something. So the whole night I just been out making money, having fun, laughing, cracking up, and the universe just took care of everything. I bought that charge pipe because I knew that it like my engine is running something's too strong right now and I think it's got something to do with me not connecting that charge pipe back up how it should have been or whatever the fuck I don't even know but that's what the guy said it could be and so I, I'm like well I'm just gonna buy an aftermarket if I gotta take this one off again I might just put an aftermarket one back on so I just ordered the aftermarket had no idea the universe would give me $200 tonight none this is what I'm talking about man just give life give life and life's gonna happen to you it, it can only happen like that. Just give life, and life will happen back. Let me see what these people want right here. $4 for what? Let's request this match. Now it's no longer available. Of course, because I got a surge. It's not available because I got a surge on my phone. 11.20 to go to Sky Harbor. Mm, nope, we're not going to Sky Harbor right now. We're not doing that. Yeah, but no, nah, that was crazy. Like I said, tonight was pretty fun. Tonight was pretty fun. I'm glad I picked them up. I'm real glad I picked them up because we had a good time. And like I said, I don't I don't really know who I'm picking up half the time. $13 to go to Sky Harbor. Uh, nope, I'm not doing that. They could, they could give me a little more money than that. $13 to go to Sky Harbor? No. Nah. So I'm parked right here at the gas station at the corner right now. $13 to go nine miles. No, nah, I'm not going way down there. Yeah, but man, this has been one of the funnest nights I've had doing ride chair in a long time. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I actually got out. I'm, I played darts with people before. I got out and went and played darts. Got chicken fingers. I went to a pool party one time. People was like, hey, come to the... And I went, and they were like, hey, this is our Uber driver. And I got, like, free fucking chicken nuggets and shit on their patio. And we were sitting there. They was doing shots and everything. I'm cracking up laughing with them. They're all jumping in the fucking pool and shit. And, I mean, it was a whole group. And they didn't have swimsuits. So they were all stripping down. The dudes was all jumping in with their boxers. Girls was in their bras and panties jumping in the pool and shit. Yeah, that happened to me one time. And that's just like, it was a fun night. It was kind of extreme, but we were laughing and joking and having a good time. But tonight, we were in the casino. They were like, hey, this is our Uber driver. Even the casino people was like, you're the coolest Uber driver I've ever met. I was like, yeah. He was like, wow. I was like, you're actually in here hanging out with them. I'm like, dude, 
just we're having a good time, man. We was in a car laughing and joking, listening to Meek Mill. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm betting the, I'm betting the Philadelphia Eagles Sunday, man. That was my sign right there. I'm betting the Philly Eagles Sunday. And we're just laughing, having a good time. You know what I'm saying? And, and I wanted to get out and work. I wanted to get out and drive a little bit. But they were like, dude, we got you covered. If you just, if you got to make money, we understand you got to make money. How much can you make in the next hour doing ride share? I was like, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. He was like, I'll give you 80 bucks. Come hang out with us, man. I was like, bet. He says, you can gamble on everything too. And I wasn't going to gamble at first. But we were at the craps table hanging out, and I was like, fuck it. I said, it's all or nothing. So I just put the money on the table, you know, started coming up real fast, started going down. I was down to my last 40 bucks, and I was like, fuck it. It's all or nothing. Let's go. All or nothing. And that shit hit, and I was like, let's go. Now we in the mix. Let's play. Let's play. And we had a good time after that. But, yeah, I don't know. It's like some nights, you know, it's just fucking wild, just wild. But that's the life of a ride share driver, which is why when motherfuckers say go get a real job, I say, fuck you, go get a real life. This is my real life. I'm having a good time right now. There's no way in a million years I could work in my office. Motherfuckers walk in and go, hey, Jeff, come gamble with us, dog, just roll with us. Or come come to a pool party with us. Or come play darts with us. Come eat some chicken fingers and shit with us. You can't do that at a W-2, but I do that shit all the time in ride share. And that's why I enjoy it. There's nothing you can do to make me not enjoy it. I don't like when these apps fucking with me and it's trying to steal our money and shit. And it's like doing business with a shady motherfucker. I don't like doing business with shady people. But ride share, I, I like this shit, man. This is pretty cool. This is my speed. I like cars. I like people. This is my speed. And tonight was a really good night. You know what I'm saying? I, I made almost 400 bucks a night. And the majority of it was the 100 and the 100. So I was like, there we go right there. And I can still make some more money, you know what I'm saying? I got a 450 bonus sitting here, so I can still make some more money. Also, my dogs. <laughs> I can still make some more money tonight. So I'm going to go on Uber, open their ass up, and this will force Lyft to send me something. All right, let's open up Uber. I'm down to 14%. Oh, shit, a $2 fucking surge. Ooh. Let's see what Uber's going to send me. Ragamuffins. Or a lift might send me something right off the bat. Seven bucks, nine bucks, seven bucks. All of them are garbage. Damn. Seven bucks for like 11 miles. Nine for like 11 miles. No. See, this shit's all garbage. Seven bucks for eight miles is all trash. There we go. Let's see what you got over here. $13 to go to Scott Harbor for thirty. No. No, I'm cool on that shit. I'm not doing that. I can't stand that shit when they do that. $7 to go to Scott Harbor? No, we're not doing that either. Yeah. What's this reservation shit? $10 to go to Scott Harbor? Nope, we're not doing that either. Let's see what the details of this reservation is looking like. $19 for five miles? Let's not do that either. Let's do that one. I'll take that one. Let's see what they're talking about over here. $14. Scheduled drop off. No, we're not doing that either. Yeah. I know they're probably like, dude, got it. Like, man, will you take a, a fucking airport ride? Not for this. Y'all not giving me no good money right now. I got a 450 fucking surge and they giving me bullshit rides. Okay, I could do that. I could do that. That's about $2 a mile right there. And that's an airport drop off. Fine, fuck it. Pickup note added for this ride. All right. And what is this? Nine dollars to go to the airport. I could take both of these motherfuckers at the same time, but I'm not. Let's go. This. Let's turn this one off. That would be cool if I would do that. Go pick up one and then go drive and go pick up the other one too. And be like, hey, I just picked up somebody. We're all gonna go together since we all gotta go to the airport. Do a double fucking ride. Be like, shit. Because right now it's four o'clock in the morning. Everybody's trying to get to the airport, and it's like. If you motherfuckers really need to get to the airport, y'all need to fucking figure shit out. Because I'm not about to be fucking sitting around dicking with this shit. Let's go, let's go. Man, this car is so fucking fast. I don't, I swear to God. It's like this thing got a whole nother fucking breath of fresh air. I don't know if me, if it's really me cleaning the valves or is the fact that this charge pipe is, is something. I don't know. I just, I'm not getting it right now. I'm really not getting it. Like, I just left that light, and when I hit it, I'm barely on it. This thing is shooting down the street like it wants to fucking go. This thing wants to go. And I'm like, man, I guess if I change the charge pipe out and it does the same thing, 
like it's still taking off like that, then it means I cleaned the valves really good. That's all it means. But this car ain't never ran like this. I mean, this thing is like fucking grabbing and taking off. Like, man. And I'm barely touching the gas. And the guy's like, well, you probably, with the charge pipe, you know, it, it's probably got a small leak and you're getting more air in than what you should. So it's giving you a little extra horsepower because you're mixing more air. And I'm like, I don't know, man. This shit's crazy. I'm like, it, it's almost scary fast. Like, because I'm used to it. Like, when I first put these tires on and I was talking online about how I was scared about how I was grabbing, it was taking off, and it was like like jumping all over the place because I had to get used to the fucking new traction. That's kind of how it feels again. Like, I got to get used to the new way that it's driving right now. Like, it's like, holy shit, this car is taking off. Like, if I'm turning the wheels and I'm going, this thing's going to shoot down the street sideways. This thing's, like, really trying to go somewhere. But, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hopefully, it is that charge pipe deal where I'll put the new pipe on and it runs like it normally runs. Because I don't mind a whole lot of horsepower, but it's taking me a minute to get used. It's, like, surprising me. Like, when I hit the gas pedal, it's really, like, taking off. Like, holy shit, this thing is shooting from up under me. It's like... Mm. It's like having a, a 600 motorcycle, but it's got like uh, the low end is like a, a CBR 1000, like a 1000 horsepower with the very low end, which is why I think it has to be the charge pipe because all I did was clean the valves. That was it. I just cleaned the valves. So it was like if the charge pipe has, like he's saying, if it's like a leak or something like that, there's a boost leak somewhere in it. I don't know. Shit just don't make sense because this thing is fucking taking off like a rocket ship. This is what the surge map is looking like right now. I'm still at the airport, but Tempe is blowing up right now. Look at that. It is blowing up right now. But I think I got a reservation over on Uber side, I think. Because that's what it looked like. Like right here in the opportunities. It said at 5 o'clock in the morning, that reservation was going to hit right there. So if I go online, let's see what happens. If it's going to give me the uh, map to go pick up my reservation. But I don't want to pick it up because, I, like I said, it's at 5. I still got, I picked this guy up at 4 or something and just dropped him off. So it only takes me like 10 minutes to get to the airport. So hopefully, it's like I said, head the waiting lot on Uber. No, we're not doing that. We're out of here. Out of here. So now I got 61 bucks over here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm over 400 for the day. Over 400 for the day. See, that ride only took me like 18 minutes. It's like six miles away. That was it. So I got him out the way real quick. And now, like I said, I made what, $61 for the day over here. So 61 over here and over here on this side, I made what? 148 and 61. So that's my over $200 right there. That's over, over 200. What is that, 209? See, I knew they was gonna do that shit. All right, so I'll go pick up this reservation real quick, Gabriel. So, like I said, sometimes, man, you just got to get out here. Let me turn off lift real quick. I'll get back on lift in a second. Go offline. I'll get back on them in a second. But, yeah, like I said, so I'm over $200 in, in app, $200 in cash. I'm well over $400. I think I can keep pushing. Should I go for $500 for the day? I think I'm going to go for $500 just for the fuck of it. Let's go for $500. I ain't got shit else to do. I've not been driving for over a week. I've been sitting around at the house with a busted Beamer. Now I got a super fast BMW that's scaring the shit out of me right now. Like, usually I come to this corner, I'm hitting gas. I'm, like, letting it coast through this corner. Because I swear to God, I think I just got unmetered air going into my engine. And this shit's, like, taking off on me. Like, ugh. Okay, Scottsdale Road, let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay, so I just finished dropping off Gabriel. Cool guy. His dad builds the old 1941 Willys. He builds them and restores them up in New York. Cool as shit. So I'm like, dude. So I gave him my card. I'm like, dude, I want to see these. So hopefully his dad will check out my channel and see how I build Jeeps and be like, dude, I'll sell you one of mine. How about that? Like, that's what's up. I'll get one of them old Willys and I'll be driving that thing around my neighborhood. Windows down. I mean, the, t the front windshield down and everything. Picking up people, just cruising around. They're like, dude, bring the Willys. I'm like, you know it. I'll put a big old Chevy engine in it. No, I'm just kidding. You don't do that to a Willys like that. You, you keep it as custom, you keep it as stock as you can and enjoy it. Be nostalgic, make you feel like you're riding back in the 40s. So that was that drop. Now I'm headed back over to Tempe to go do a quick pickup over here to see if they got some surge jumping. That was my last trip right there, 20 bucks. So, like I said, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I got that one was 20. Uh, let me go back in here real quick. 
So I made 20 plus 148, so 168. So I've made 168 on Uber so far, 168. So 168 over there, how much over here? 168, and on this weekly here, it's gonna show you how much I made. Damn it, come on, Wells Activity, all right. 168 plus 61 puts me at about mm, 230. Puts me at 230 plus the 100 and the 100 puts me at 430. 430 for the day so far, but I think I can hit 500. I'm going for 500 before I end my day. I'm gonna make 500 bucks before I call this shit good. Cause like I said, I already had a little time off. I was hanging out with the fellas and the girl over at the casino. We had a good time, man. That shit was fun as hell. And I'm glad I did that because you need a break. And we've been talking about life a lot on this channel. A lot of us have been talking about life and why we do this and it, and it just, it just happened. It just happened. What are these fools talking about over here? Let's make sure they ain't talking about no trash rides. 8.95. Oh no, that's like 22 miles for eight bucks. No, no, we cool on that shit. Let's turn Uber off real quick. Cause Uber's not gonna do me like that. Uber's not gonna do me like that. But let me go into my earnings tab real quick. I can pull out that. I'm with 247. Let's cash that out because I want to leave that in there for too long. Confirm that. I don't like leave my money in there. Cool. So get that 246 out the way. I needed that. So yeah. And that's that's only since I've put the G, the uh, car back on the road. So I haven't been driving a whole lot, but I need to get that money out of there because I don't like my money sitting on these apps. Because these motherfuckers might be like, actually, we're going to review your account and, and let you know whether or not we want you to uh, drive for Uber anymore. Well, can I get my money out? Well, while your account's under review, we're not going to let you get the money back out until after the review is done. Shit. I don't trust them motherfuckers. I get my money out of there. I do not have time for them. All right, where am I at? Okay, I'm gonna try to cruise over, pick up this $4 uh, surge right there. Man, this has been a crazy day. 70 more bucks, 70 more bucks, I can hit $500 for the day. 70 more dollars. I could do it, I could do it. Cause I just gotta get out here and, and really push it right now. I just gotta get out and really push it. So like I said, I'm at 4.30 right now. Let me go over here real quick. Yep, 4.30. And that's my summary right there because like I said, that's 148 and 20 puts me at 168, almost 170. Then I got the 60 over on um, Lyft. So that puts me at the 230 mark, 230. Man, then the two, the, the big the big cash. I needed this cash injection, man. It's like the universe is looking out for me. The universe is looking out for me. Universe is like, Jeff, you've been out here busting your motherfucking ass trying to help people out and do everything you can do. Tell you what we're going to do for you, man. We gon' we gonna set you down with some cash. We gonna set you up with some cash for the night because you need it. Your ass been broke sitting on that damn BMW. All right, now I'm in the Lyft zone. I gotta turn Uber on because Lyft's not gonna send me a ride until I turn Uber on. I know that shit's funny, ain't it? Like, bam, watch this. Now that Uber's on, watch Lyft start sending me shit. But no, I appreciate, you know, everybody 7.15? No. $7 to go to the airport? Nah. We're cool on that shit. These motherfuckers gonna be like, dude, just take them to the airport. Nope. $13 for like 23 miles? Nope. It's way too far out. Come on, Lyft. Send me something. 7.15 to go to Southwest Airlines? Nope. We're not doing that either. There we go. Like I said, Lyft doesn't send shit until after you get a few Uber rides. $13 to go back to the airport. Uh, nope, not yet. Not yet. We're not going to do that one yet. I'm not worried about Uber right now. Uber's just going to have to just keep beeping. Beeping. All right, I'm going to sit right here for a second on the side of the road by this bus stop. $13 for eight miles. Nope, we just did that. $3 bonus paid after ride. So $16 for eight miles. Nah. What are we talking about over here? Nothing. I just re recognized that Lyft said that $3 bonus paid after drop off. Like, for real? $3.15? What? Come on, man. $3.15 for like six miles this early in the morning? Who are you tripping? Yeah. So I'm going to sit here at this bus stop and see what I can get. $6.25. I, just, I saw that. I would have took that ride because I didn't see that it said $3 paid additional after the drop-off. I didn't see that shit. 
So some oh three dollar bonus hour active right now. Oh, that's what it is. The three dollar bonus hour is active. Ends at six a.m. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, you ragamuffins. Yeah. Three dollars for that? No, we're not doing three dollars for that. See, lifts got me sitting on what, six twenty-five or something like that. Let's see what happens. I don't believe somebody's like, up oh, there's early trying to get three dollar rides. It's crazy. <laughs> Four eighty-one to go to the airport. Less than five dollars to drop off somebody at the airport. It's crazy. It's craziness. Let's turn Uber off. They're tripping. I'll just leave Lyft on. Let Lyft do it. Five dollars to drop off somebody at the airport. They probably charge that person probably like eighteen, nineteen dollars, and they're gonna give me five dollars for it. It's like, no, nah, I'm sorry, you won't make it to the airport. I'm sorry, but this is what the apps do to people. I don't get enough tips. Not on Uber and Lyft and all that. I don't get enough tips to, to think, well, this person will probably take care of me. No, this person probably won't. Like I said, I'm, I'm a realist with this shit. I'm a realist. So, where we at? Right there at the five. Three dollars up there. All right. So, let's cruise up here real quick. I'm going to hit the Scottsdale Road and drop down some. Drop, drop, drop it like it's hot. Thirteen dollars for that. Um... Let's accept that because I get the $3 paid after that ride too. So this will be a $16 ride. Let's go pick up Tyrus real quick. Drop him off at the airport. Swing back by. And do it again. Because this is funny. I think I get a $6 bonus with this on a $13 ride to make that $7. This ride is a $7 ride right now. It's a $7 ride. But I get a $6 bonus plus I get another $3 after that to make the $16 instead of a $13 ride. Still is a $7 ride. So they're giving me 13 free dollars. No, let me see. Six and three. Nine free. I'm getting nine free dollars. So let's go do this real quick. Get him to the airport. I think that's what I'm doing with him. And then let's get back online and let's let's get this 70 extra dollars. I want to be done with my day. $70. That's it. That's all I need to hit 500 There we go. That's that 1606. Because I got that $13. And then I got that $3 for that bonus hour sitting right there. So not bad not bad let's do it we still on it i got 30 more minutes to get as many bonuses as i can get so i'm gonna leave maybe i can get two more trips out of this maybe they could be short but i want to head back over here to this area there so i can get more bonus now the thing is right now it's just it's turning into uh to a christmas break for all the students at asu so i've been at the airport twice already both were students going on break so i gotta shoot back over by asu see if i can get more students and as you can see on the app there's a lot of students trying to get to the airport. So I just got to make sure I can get over there and get somebody. So hopefully I can. And that's where I'm headed to right now. All the way back over to ASU. Pick up a couple of kids. Woo, shoot back. Get the three bucks. Yeah, yeah. And then he messed around and tipped me five dollars. Bam. There we go. First tip on Lyft in a long time. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I be doing lift rides and I never get a tip. Look at that, six rides, no tips. That's just how lift be operating. I finally get a damn tip on lift. Man, I can't tell you when the last time I got a tip on this damn ragged ass app, but I'll take it. Five bucks, let's make it happen. Yeah, I didn't want that right there. So I'm kind of letting this thing kind of die down right now. I got nine minutes to do one more ride because I said I could do two in the next hour. So I just dropped off Nina. I'll be doing my second one here pretty soon. Uh, I just didn't feel like going way down there. And if I can do the second one, it'll be good. This is the one right there. Bam. Uh, now I'm going to try to turn right here. One pickup note added for this ride. I'm not looking at that pickup note.
I've been knocking these little small rods out back to back, man. And like I said, with that extra $3 added on there, everything's looking pretty good. I got another $3. I did this real short rod right here, and I got $3. So it was about uh, $9 for about three miles. So I'm running about $3 a mile right now. So I'm at about three bucks a mile with that 636 added to three to it, make it nine for 2.3 miles. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, there's a lot of people that are still trying to get to the airports and stuff like that. So hopefully, yeah, I'm done with the $3, but I'm in the surge zone. So I'm going to get the surge. I'm done with the three bucks, but I think I knocked out three of them. Let me see. I can't remember. And I wanted to get three. There's one bonus, two bonus, three. Yep, that was it. So I got three. One happened at 520. One happened at 545. The other one at 556. Let me make sure I didn't get more than that. So 520. Yep, that was it. Because I didn't start driving until that time. So 514, I didn't get one. No, the one I did was at 514. Then I got it at 520. Then I went at 537, got it at 545. 551, 556. All right, bet. So those are my three. And I wanted three that hour. I said, I think I can do two more. And sure enough, they sent me two more. So I came out a, a little bit ahead on that. So I've got, you know, for the day, 41 here. And then you go down a little bit. So I started out, what was that? 41 and 61 makes 102. So, so far I got 102 on um, lift. So I got $102 on lift. And then I got, oh, how much on Uber? I think 160 on Uber. So it puts me at about 260, 360, 460. I got about 460 right now. I need 40 more dollars and I'm good. 40 more dollars and I've hit my, my goal for the day of 500 bucks. Like I said, I've just been cruising, man. I've been cruising. And it's like, I'm, I'm trying to stick to the plan. No low dollar rides. All Everything has to have a bonus attached to it. Like I said, that first $100 for the night started me out so good. And I just knew it was going to be good. I was like, thank you so much. $10 for that. Let's do that. All right. And I get another. Where am I at? Let me turn this motherfucker around. So we're going to the airport. We're taking them to the airport. So... Uh, zips. All right, so let's turn here and we can go pick them up a mod. Let's go get a mod so we can get him to the airport. Like I said, it's, it's a cheap ride 10 bucks for the airport, and usually I don't go as low as 15. So 10 bucks for this little ragged ass airport ride. Hopefully, he gives me a tip with it. No telling, but yeah, I don't like this. I should have declined it, but I didn't. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take it anyways. Cause it's, it's a basically a dollar a mile ride and they gave me 525 to make it a two dollar a mile ride so i'm like eh, do he better give me like a five dollar tip to make it a three dollar mile ride. <laughs> this is what i'm trying to do all right that was that quick drop and then as i was dropping them off i think they were trying to send me another ride but i was in the back getting sued and lift need to quit doing that shit uber too stop sending rides when we get to the location don't do that shit because we're not even in our cars. We ain't getting out holding our phones, fuck on our phones. I think they were sending me a ride when I was getting the dude's suitcase out the back. Because when I came back, I saw the screen kind of flash. I don't know if it was flashing because the ride was ending or they were trying to send me some new shit. But I think they were trying to send me something different. That's the dumbest shit ever. How can you send people rides when you know we're at the airport and we're not in our cars? I'm like, it's just common fucking sense. We're getting out of our car right now. So don't be sending shit. Same thing when we doing deliveries and getting groceries or doing like... You know, deliveries for like Jack in the Box and shit like that. They always send you shit when you're out of your car trying to take a picture of the food or trying to go to the door and you're carrying shit and they sending you transactions. Stop sending fucking transactions. When we get somewhere, we need to hit a button that says like NT, no transactions. And let that shit have a countdown so when we're ready for another transaction, we'll hit it again. So you can say, okay, on average, these motherfuckers is getting out, getting luggage. It takes about, you know, 45 seconds to 60 seconds to get luggage. So don't send them some when they get to the location for the first 60 seconds. Allow them to complete that transaction before we send them a new transaction. Motherfuckers just don't make sense, man. I swear to God, these people do not make sense. And now what time is it? It's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's still dark out, so I don't feel like it's daytime yet. Summertime, it'd be light out right now. But... Y'all might cruise over there and pick up some people from the airport because, like I said, 51 I got about another $30 to make. I think I got to hit $80 on this account. So if I had 80 bucks, 80 more dollars, or 30 more dollars, then I can, I can call it good. I hit my $500 for the day. 
That's it. I wasn't even gonna go for 500 until I realized how fucking close I was. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just do the 500. Big shout out to the motherfuckers that hooked me up today with cash. Big shout out because without that, there's no way possible I would have made the money that I made. No way possible. Especially the first hundred dollars. The first hundred, definitely I would not have made that. They handed me that as soon as we got to the club. They was like, here you go, man. I was like, thank you. Shit. How much cash you got on you? I was like, like 20 bucks. They was like, nah, I don't need no change. Keep the change, man. I was like, damn, appreciate that. And then, like I said, casino, man, we came up there. We, we, we did all right, man. We had a good time. We had a good time. And like I said, that was about a good hour and a half. I made 100 bucks in about an hour and a half dealing with them, which ain't too bad. It's not too bad. Because if I was making 40 bucks an hour, it would have taken me two hours to make 80 bucks. I made 100 in an hour and a half. So it's all good with that. I, I love that play right there. That was a good play to go to the casino and hang out for a while. Just following my energy, that's all. Following my energy. Oh, the cars are out. It's a lot of traffic out. Oh, shit, a lot of traffic. We're going to see if we can get this last 30 bucks. I might turn on Uber in a second. Let's see something. Because I know Uber always having shit going, too. Especially at this time in the morning, they probably got some surge going somewhere. Come on, you slow-ass app. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go online real quick. Oh shit! Yeah, I got a, I got a five dollar tip from that one airport ride right here. My last airport ride, dude tipped me five bucks. Check that out. Bam. He tipped me five thirty one. Nope, we're not doing that. Six bucks to go to the airport. Nope, not doing that. What was that nine dollars for that trip? Nope, we're not doing that one either. It's way too far for nine bucks. That was like probably 12, 13 miles for nine bucks. It's like, nah, man. It's too early in the morning for that shit. And that's why I don't see how people be saying, yeah, man, I'll start my day at like six in the morning. I'll start my day at seven in the morning. This is the kind of shit we talking about right there. Like six bucks to go back to the airport. That's like almost 10 miles for $6. 60 cents a mile to do an airport ride. 60 cents a mile. And there's another one right there. Going all the way up north, coming all the way back south. That's 24 miles of driving, 24 miles for $10, 25 miles for $10, 25 miles for $10, that's 25 cents a mile, think about it, 25 miles for $10 is 25 cents a mile, then look at that shit, another UberX share right there, I don't see how people started this time in the morning, with shit like this, ain't no way, ain't no way, doing airport runs at 25 cents a mile and shit all morning, no, ain't no motherfucking way, $3 rides and shit like that, Man, you know what? Let, let's get out of Uber real quick because they ain't got shit going. On. Got nine dollars for that. Look at all these shit rides. Four thirty-eight for sixteen miles. Four dollars and thirty-eight cents for sixteen miles. Carl's Junior shit. Man, out they motherfucking mind. What ten dollars for ten miles? Uh, nope. Let's not do that. Let's see where some surge at out here. Somebody's got to have surge somewhere. Where we at? All right, I'm at 325 bonus right now. They tried to give me that with no surge. You see that shit? They tried to give me that with no surge. Let's go close Uber down because Uber ain't got shit going on anyways. Let's close them down. They've done it up. No, I'm not updating. They've been trying to give me the update for like the past two weeks. I ain't updating my shit. Y'all quit bothering me. I'm not updating. $11 for nine miles. Nope, we're not doing that. Dang it. Come on, app. Quit fucking with me. No, we're not going back to the airport for that. We're not. We could do something shorter. $10, about $2 a mile. Let's take that. All right, so that was that quick ride right there. Just finished with him. 635 I got another like I said that has to hit $80 so I need 19 more dollars to have a $500 day 19 more dollars that's it $500 day I could do it and I got to see what time I started driving hey 375 that's what's up my man appreciate you my brother so instead of $19 I need less than 19 now 65 I need like $14 yes I need $14.50 to have a $500 day $14.50 to have a $500 day. That's all I need. <laughs> Let's go get it. Let's go get it. And everybody's like, man, how do you add that fast? I'm like, because I have a calculator in my head. <laughs> no. 
man, this shit's fucking hilarious. But no, if I could just get there, get this 19, I mean $14, I might just have to get like 20, 25 to make sure I'm over 500. Let's get $20 to be over 500 for the day. Like I said, it was just a crazy day. Like I said, I'm glad that the BMW's back together. I'm glad I'm out having fun and everything. So let's go look and make sure I'm, that's all I need. So that's 65 over there. So 65 with the 200 in my pocket is 265. So 265. And then we'll do 265 plus about, uh, that's what, 170, 174, 173. Okay, let's just say 175 because that's about 174, 173. So 265, 175 puts me at 400 and, damn it, 440. All right, let's open this up. $5? Doubt it. We're not doing that. Not for no fucking $5. It's like, no, we're trying to get there the easy way, not the hard way. So let's go. Because, like I said, that's 25 and that makes that 175, 175, 275, 375. Oh, but I forgot. This is just from this morning. I still got money on the other end over here because I started last night. Like, duh. Okay. And I'm down here. 61. Okay. So 61 and 65 makes 120. Let's just say 125. So let's say we're at 125. 125 plus the 175 over on Uber. Oops, yeah, 175 over on Uber makes about 300. 300 plus the 200 in my pocket puts me at 500. I'm already at 500. Wait a minute, that can't be right. 125. I'm already at 500. Damn, I think I am. So that one, yeah, I think I'm at 500 already. With Uber being at 175, this being at 125, just about 125, that puts me at 300 plus the 200 cash in my pocket. I think I'm at 500. Let's do another two rides just to make sure. I'm gonna do two more rides because I don't, I'm not, you know, I'm driving right now. I think my math is right. I think it's right. But I don't feel like, you know, opening up these screens and fucking around on the highway with all these cars around me. So let's do another couple of trips real quick. Well, I got two tips over here. Yeah, two tips. Out of five trips, cool, cool. I don't think I got no tips last night, though. Let's open this motherfucker up. I don't think I got no tips last night. Nope, zero tips, motherfuckers. I did 11 trips from last night to this morning, and I only got two tips out of those 11 trips. Oh, raggedy motherfuckers, boy, I swear. But I'm going to drop back down to this surge right here because all these students are going, oh, of course you pulled the surge out. Fucking ragamuffins, they pulled that shit. It was like, nope, you we're, we're done messing with you, Jeff. You over here killing us right now like damn straight but like i said i think i'm already at 500 i believe it but let's see what we can do and i've been like i said i haven't driven i think i started driving last night about eight nine o'clock somewhere in that area it was about eight or nine o'clock i started driving you know a lot of scouting kicking back relaxing and shit like that you know went and played motherfucking went and gambling for a little bit it's been a it's been a good night it's been a real good night been pretty fun like I said, I think I needed a night like this to recharge my soul because we've had a lot of shit going on on YouTube with motherfuckers hating the game. Give up. Go do something else. Go get a W-2. Just quit. Take what they give you. If they pay you 10 an hour, take 10 an hour. I mean, we've been hearing a lot of raggedy motherfuckers say that shit. I'm like, go out, have a great fucking time. Fight back. Fight back. Go out there. Get your fucking money. Give these people your soul. Go out there, laugh, joke, have a great fucking time make money share a moment with some fucking body just share a lot of these people out here they don't know how to share a fucking moment they they like shitty ass drivers shitty drivers and they're acting like oh yeah well you know i'm just no you're a shitty fucking driver is what you are you're a shitty driver you should be able to go out have a good time make your fucking money if these apps start playing you in bullshit and you shut these motherfuckers down just shut them down go sit and chill somewhere grab you some motherfucking crusty dusties eat cookies and shit do something different seven dollars no nah, because i'm too close to surge right now seven dollars for an airport run no nah, i'm cool like i said they shouldn't have took the surge from where i was if they would have left the surge on there and made it a ten dollar airport run i would have did it but it's like i'm not i'm not doing that no because i'm i'm right here by asu just plucking kids and taking them to the airport that's all i'm doing it's easy as shit and usually i do this in the morning now i got 225 see that's all they do is just wait 
We just had to wait to send it. They could have gave me 10 bucks for it. But yet they wanted to hurry up and give it to me before I got searched. Kick that shit out. I don't do that. Don't fucking play me. I mean, I'm having a great time, but don't fuck with me. For real. I mean, I'm still about my money. I can have a great time. I can be personal. I can, you know, have passion and enjoy my motherfucking day and still be about my money. A lot of people don't know how to do that. That's why they go around, well, you can't be emotional and still make money. That's not possible. You can't do that. You know, you have to just be about your money. And if you're not about your money and you're just passionate about it and you're emotional and you're triggering your emotions, you're not going to make any money. Elon, hit these motherfuckers up. Go fuck yourself. Is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob. Sure, new audience. So hopefully I can go up here, pick up another quick airport ride, ten, eleven dollars. I'll I'll deal with it. I could do that. Ten, eleven bucks. I'll do it. Like I said, I believe I'm probably already over five hundred bucks. I bet I am. And I'm just you know I just want to make sure. I don't want to end up ending my night and be like, dude, you carried a one when you shouldn't have carried a one, motherfucker. You're at four hundred ninety-one dollars, not five oh one. So it's like you know what? Let's be sure. Let's do two more rides to close this day out. Uh, on the way home, I got to go pick up some dog treats. I still haven't been grocery shopping yet. So I got to go pick up some dog treats on the way home anyway. Pick up some dog treats. Get me some more breakfast sausage and shit like that. Go home, eat. I would, I'm not going to be able to render a video, run a video tonight because I'm still recording right now. Now, usually my videos drop at like 8 or 9 in the morning. I got to edit this thing. So it ain't dropping until 8 or 9 in the morning. $8 for that. Uh... Let's do it. Let's do it. I can do that. All right, where are we going? And it's only going south, so I'm still in my area, and there's a Walmart up where I'm taking them anyways. There's a Walmart by there. So this is my little ride to Walmart right now. So I can pick them up, go get the Walmart, get my dog treats, hopefully pick up somebody by Walmart or from Walmart and call that one my last ride of the day. We'll see. All right, that was that one. I need another, let's say, six bucks, seven dollars, and I'll call it good. Seven dollars, and I'll call it good, because I'm gonna hit 80 bucks on this account. I think I'm there already, but I just want to be 100% sure. They keep trying to send me bullshit, like three dollars and five dollar rides. I'm like, come on, man, don't do me like that. They sent me like a three dollar ride. I was like, no, we're not doing three dollar rides. Not at no motherfucking seven o'clock in the morning. And I never work till seven in the morning. So this is a little different. I'm not too far from my house, so I don't want to go too far from where I'm at. Let's turn it back on Uber too. We're going to make sure that we get something going. Let's crank it up on Uber, see what Uber's got going. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got on Uber for a while. Um, like I said, all I need is about, mm, I'd say seven bucks. Oh, hell no. That was way too far. I'm, I'm not going to do it just for the seven bucks. It's got to be a smart trip. Definitely no, no. Look at that. They, they already pulling all these rides out. Like, nope, nope, nope. They're yanking these rides like crazy. Uber X share? No, we're not going to do that. No. And I don't know why they did that shit. They just threw two rides and they threw me an Uber X share going seven miles away from my house for seven bucks. Nah, this motherfucker's not getting to work. Not with no Uber X share. It's like, they need to quit that shit, man. Nobody's, like I said, they need to use other cars for Uber X share. Not like nice cars. Use regular cars for Uber X share. We're already upgraded fucking cars. We can't be upgraded and Uber X share at the same time. It's like, come on, man. I gotta get this shit right. If you're gonna do us Uber X share, at least play us two, three dollars a mile because we're an upgraded car. Because they wanna make it like, well, it's the tier, it's not the car. You're right, it is the tier, not the car. But if these motherfuckers ain't tipping, they're not getting in my car. Fuck the tier. I'm not gonna sit here and be catering to motherfuckers all day at 50 cents to a dollar a mile just because you wanna put me on that tier so you can make profit off of me. No, fuck that. It's like we can make profit together, we can do this shit together, but it's gonna take. Both of us to do it. I'm not playing them games with these fucking people. It's like, no, no. And I know they see me headed back up to the surge up here. I'm not going to go all the way up to the surge, though. I'm not doing that. Five bonus hours a day? Yeah, I won't be doing those. But I'll tell you what, if I get up here to Southern, I'm going to start heading towards my house. Because I don't think it's, I don't know. 
I'm probably there. If I'm not at 500, it's okay. It's okay if I'm not. Because I'm at a point where I got a funny feeling they're going to start sending out a whole bunch of shit because the sun's coming up now. It's kind of sunny out. So I think they're going to start sending out a whole bunch of shit rides just because they think, you know, it's daytime. We got the day drivers out. We're night drivers that just so happen to be out in the daytime. So I will not be taking those shit rides. Oh. Oh, shit. That road is closed. Let's go straight. Damn. All right. Well, they're doing bridge work down there. All right. So I can't go down south. And I have to go north. Fuck. So I have to go north just to get there because baseline, I mean, broad, yeah, southern is closed. So now I got to go down here. I'm glad I saw that. Man, man, man. I probably won't make it to Walmart either. I'll go to Walmart. I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up and go to Walmart. Four bucks, four miles. No, we're not going that way. No, we're not doing that. You know what? Let's just turn everything off right now. Whatever I got is what I got. I don't think I'm going to make 500 bucks. If I have it, I have it. If I don't, I don't. I'm done for the night. Fuck it. 14%, I'm not updating. You know, hopefully I got it. If I don't, it's cool. I, I did okay tonight, man. I did okay. So, I mean, I got a couple of really good cash injections. And, hey, you can't beat that. You can't beat it. All right, that's the time it is, 713, about a half a tank of gas I used, half a tank to make 500 bucks. It's saying 154 miles till empty, but if that's saying that I used 154 miles to make hundred and to make $500, that's crazy because it was like 330, so that's 180. So 180 miles of driving made me almost $500, crazy. laying here in bed just waking up the next night and what i'm gonna do is i saw some tips coming through so actually it was 157 i made on friday almost 158 it's still 25 so that 158 and that 25 makes it really 183 on uber so i make 183 on uber watch out crazy dog what's up buddy made 183 on uber because these tips started coming through right here the dollar the 988 and the dollar here so it was the dollar the 988 and the dollar came through so i'll send them things but yep because i cashed out the 245 last night so that's my update there an additional little amount came through last night so there you go 158 plus 25 puts me at 183 yep 183 dang 